According to my watch, it is 6.36 Eastern Time, which makes me early. Just letting you... According to my wristwatch. <laughs> Hi, what's up, guys? How you doing? Yeah, I'm early today. I don't, I don't feel good again. Like, this sucks. I'm, I'm back. It's like, it's like Issue Boy. You'd call me Issue Boy if you really want to. This has nothing to do with the cold I've just barely got over. Like, today was the last day of the cold. Now we have a different problem. But I'll be uh, back in two seconds. Wait, what? What? Thank you, Sam Wise, for three months. Hey, Jeremy, sorry I've been missing your stream, but you know how it is with family in the holidays. That's... Uh, spend time with your family. Don't worry about me. Spend time with your family. But thanks for three months, dude. Thank you for the 590 bits from Blorgus McFlorgus. Bits, bits, Wait, bits, bits. What? <laughs> oh, I restarted the video. And Loose Cannon Sandwich, thank you for the resub. Hey, Jerby, I think you were pretty rad. Well, thanks. Thank you for the bits, Bob the Pineapple. Oh, 200, 255 bits! They say cheer 255, and I don't, I don't know what that says. I cannot read what that says. Hopefully it's not a swear. But thank you, T4I. And Dark Shaft. No more Dead Rising. It's, we're not playing Dead Rising. We're, we're playing the Warlock of Firetop Mountain. It's another game book from Steve Jackson. Wait, and what? Mr. Livingston. Hey, Dr. Screwball Jones. Thank you for nine months. Been away in South Wait, America for a while. What? Glad to be back. Well, welcome back. Welcome back from South America. Hopefully the trip was good. And Tanager4392, thanks for the eight months. Did you ever hear back about the Cementoad? Was there, there was there was more to the Cementoad? It was just a cool character, I thought. Mr. Kool-Aid, ten bucks. Yo, Merry Christmas. And speaking of Merry yeah. Christmas, I have a uh, I have a special stream. A very special stream tomorrow. You guys are gonna I feel like tomorrow Wait, is gonna be what? one of those. One of those streams to remember. We're gonna play some classic, classic video games tomorrow. Christmas themed tomorrow. Wait, what? Like it's the amount of classic video games that will be on stream tomorrow. It's just gonna be like a one to remember, you know, classics. But thank you, uh, thank you for the bits, Mr. Kool Aid. Appreciate it. And uh, LOL, no, I'm Dirt Dan. Thanks for the three hundred. Thank you, Felix, for the bits. Seeing you the demon for 200 bits. Hey, Jeremy, I got a new name, and I wanted to say if you didn't put up a new Glue Man t-shirt a month ago, I bought a bootleg Glue Man shirt. Well, <laughs> no, I did not put up a new Glue Man shirt, so you probably bought a bootleg. But there's not much I can do about it. I hope you like the shirt uh, as, as much as I, uh, I am unaware of where you got it from. But thank you for the bits. And Wumple Doodle, thanks to 320. Will Sarcasm, thank for 320. Early streamer, that's right. I'm just gonna chill for a little bit, we're early. Thank you, Stotham, for the bits. And thank you to Porchums for two months, Mr. Stone Bones for three months, and Banks, thanks for the new sub. And God damn it, look at all these bits. Justin BK, thank you for the bits, they say you smell. Well, don't we all smell? We might not necessarily smell bad, and we might not necessarily smell good. You might smell really, everybody just smells. I, uh, yeah, I agree. But thank you. Thank you, dude, for the bits. All right, so here's, here's what we're doing today. Let's move on from this. Tonight we're doing the Warlock of Firetop Mountain. I told you already. Let's go ahead and put it on for you to see. There it is. Uh, all right. So, uh, audio. 
Let's get some, let's get some music in here. What do you say? Steve Jackson and Ian Livingston present the Warlock of Firetop Mountain. This is another game book. It's another choose your adventure game. So, I don't know how much it's going to compare to Sorcery, but it's by the same guys. It's by the same dude that made Sorcery. Wait, what? Yeah. We'll find out if it's worth playing or not. I don't know how long the game is. I have no idea. This, I have not played yeah. a single second of this game. But thank you for your subscriptions. Wait, what? Let's go. Is there a zap? I don't know. They might not even. I don't even know if there's a spell book in this game. But thank you, Ovulus, Oval USC, for three months, and Jabra and Stumpy. Thanks, guys. Can the Warlocks zap stuff also have some bits? Well, thank you, What's Cracking. I appreciate it. Thank you for the 10 bucks. 10 fucking dollars. New game. New game. The Warlock of Firetop Mountain. Click to continue. Welcome back. I have not played for one second, so... Let me begin a new journey. Who are you, Oriana? First things first, how would I know... This is a weird sentence. Who are you, Oriana? Wouldn't, wouldn't I not know who this person was? Let's go. Who are you, Oriana? I am repeating myself, player, but no matter. I am Oriana, the Keeper of Souls. Your guide and your game master of sorts. Many adventurers have entered Firetop Mountain over the last 30 years or so. Voracious readers have wandered the many passages, battling the monsters within and negotiating the many traps, only then to take on the might of Zagor, the warlock. There's a new warlock. <laughs> With skill, stamina, and luck, they have chosen their many paths and rolled their fate. Many of these brave young adventurers have perished in the darkness and their souls, even now, lie unclaimed. You appear to be the next brave soul to take on the mountain and all it contains. To do this, you will need to choose an Alencian hero to take into the mountain. Don't get too comfortable with your choice. <laughs> However, as the ways are treacherous and it is doubtful that you will survive, only by bringing me the souls of the fallen may you be blessed with new heroes over time, each with their own quests within Zagor's domain. Dude, this is fucking pretty much like Dark Souls, huh? Pretty sick, pretty cool. Game sucks? What? We haven't even started. The urn is killed, thank you for the five dollars. And vape game Bill Clinton, two hundred bucks, two bucks, I have two bucks. And cold bridge, thanks. Alright, select my hero. This game, unlike sorcery, is 3D on a 3D plane. All right, figurine select. Choose your character. We got Lunika Ekadi, Dekian Strom, Alexandra of Black Sand, Aaron Gottspeed. Hmm, let's take a look. Lunika Ekadi, aka okay. Lunika is a keen explorer, especially of the bustling cities that she had previously thought were only legend. Every new person, place, or object she encounters is thoroughly questioned, explored, or examined before she rushes on to the next exciting discovery. Her endless enthusiasm can be tiring for her adventuring companions who take their civilized through. All I can hear are fucking chickens. Alright, so she's got 17 stamina, 9 skill, 10 luck. I don't know what the fuck that means. <laughs> I need to turn this down. They have different attacks because she has a front attack, a single strike in front, single strike to the left. Lunika lashes out with her dagger and hits two spots. Lunika has found poisons to be particularly effective. Okay, hold on, let's go back. Let's see this guy. Let me, uh, let me go back. Let me turn this down a little. It's a little fucking loud, don't you think? It's already down. It's so low. Look at how low this shit is. And it's still, like, too much. Ah, shit. Alright, uh... Let me begin a new journey, yeah. It's like here. Alright, well, this is, like, spears and poisons and shit. Got it. Do a poll? I'll do... Alright, I'm gonna do a poll. Once we, uh, see the description of all the characters. So this is Dekian Strom. 
Uh, 19 stamina, 8 skill, 9 luck. So the difference between these two is he has a little more stamina. Okay, so let's see. The soldier for hire, Dekir and Strom, earns his living escorting merchant wagons to and from Sardath, the city of his birth. An arrogant but skilled warrior, Dekian always looks out for himself first. Okay. Let's take a look at his attacks. So he has a single, a right, a right slash, dodge bolt. Okay, for a second I thought that was going to be electricity and this guy was instantly going to get selected. So, so he shoots. So yeah, it's pretty much the same except the difference is he has the right side is covered rather than the left. Dodge bolt, that's just a crossbow that shoots forward. Alright, let's go back. Hold on, can I, can I select these people? Alex, wait a minute. Oh, Jesus. Can I collect? Villager advice, when you get into a clash with an enemy, it's then a test to see who has the greatest skill. I can't be like the fucking lady with the rolling pin? Aww. Well, what's with the baby rage? <laughs> it's just, oh, it's because you can hear the baby? All right, looks like these are the four, but I don't think we can pick the people in the back. This next one seems like unlockable. Buy for 25 souls. I don't have that. Oh my god. There's a rhinoceros. Okay. Uh, why can't I be the rhinoceros? That's kind of, that's kind of sad. There's a lot of characters in this game. New adventurers are making their journey to Firetop Mountain. Watch this space for news, more characters, more stories, more content. Kickstarter. So this is a Kickstarter game? So wait, these are real people? Yeah, these are like real people that gave like a thousand dollars or something crazy. That's cool. Alright, well we have to pick one of the original. We can't be this guy. I would have picked this guy. Or I would have picked the guy with the, with the fucking cooked chicken on his hand. No, that's an axe. But you get the idea. Alright, let's go back. This is the. We have to pick one of these four. 18 stamina, ta 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 okay. So she's a warrior, famed for her many adventures. Her name is known in many parts of Alsania. Alansia, Alansia. No matter where she is, Alexandra has a knack for sniffing out trouble in gold. All right, let's see what she got for attack. Single right, piercing, two in a row, and then a quick jab. Alexandra strikes with near lightning speed. That's kind of good. All right, what about this guy? Aaron got speed. Born in Fang many moons ago, Aaron is seen as a hero to the locals there. His approach in battle is simple and direct. Charge forward, chopping left and right yeah. with such force and speed so as to quickly put his enemy off balance. Forward, right, blades. Okay. I think it's, uh, I think it's yeah. already settled that it's going to be this guy. Light, lightning. Because <laughs> it said lightning in the thing, should I? Seven luck. Yeah. What does that mean in this game, though? I don't know. Thank you, Bacon Wolf, for the sub. Thank you, CJ, for the bits. Hunter, for the bits. And... Well, CJ, yeah, thanks for the sub, dude. I thought you gave the bits. You gave, you just had a sub. Thank you. All right. So it's between these guys. We're going to go with uh, Ikati, Strom, Black Sand, and Gotspeed. Let me make a poll. You guys can decide what we're going to start with, what we're going to play with. I'm already very intrigued with this game, that's for sure. Alright, Ikadi. Uh, what was the other one? Um, Strom. Try to get these in a row here. Black Sand. And Got Speed. I don't think I spelt their names, one of their names right, whatever. Alright, yeah. here you go guys. Let's see who we're going to play as in this game. Who are we going to play as? We're going to give like 30 seconds to this poll. I feel like this is pretty important, so... Go and vote! Let's take a look at it again. This is Akadi, Strom, Blacksand, and Gotspeed. Looks like Gotspeed is just fucking killing it right now. Akadi, here she is. She's the spear lady. Strom is like the soldier for hire guy with the falchion, it seems, or something like that. He gave laser just stats. Black Sand is the rogue type female, I guess. And then Black Sand, oh, not Black Sand. What, bro, no. Black Sand 
got speed. Okay, here we are. So he's got, he's like the dual welding, uh, like, fury warrior, essentially. Ikadi, Strom, Black Sand, Godspeed. There you are. Gotta go fast. It looks like we're going fast. Can pronounce Falchion, but can't say Coupe de Grace correctly. <laughs> Alright, it's over. We're going with Godspeed. Dual welding. Yeah, he's a dual welder, man. All right, thank you for voting. Poll is closed. Frizz the Fizzle, Bacon Wolf. Oh, I got Bacon Wolf up. Frizz, thank you, Frizz. All right, here we go. So, Godspeed is this guy. Let's take a look at his attacks again. Yeah. The Great Godspeed. Uh, Blade Storm. This is what intrigues me the most. He can hit, like, more than three. I don't know why this matters, but Charging Twin Strike. And one fluid movement, Aaron. Charges forward, striking at foes either side. All right, here we go. He doesn't have very much luck, but he has more stamina. Let's pick Got Speed. All right, you have chosen Aaron Got Speed. If you like, you may select a different hero. If you're happy with your choice, then you may travel to Firetop Mountain and start your adventure. Alternatively, if you want to take part in a combat tutorial, activate free read mode, or want to learn more about the rules of the game, select tutorial rules and free read. All right, guys. Uh, are we just going balls in or what? What do you think? Balls in? I'm willing to go balls in if you guys want. Or, I mean, to who tutorials, rules, and shit. No tutorial, just go in. Go, just fucking hang on, not so over the fire. Travel to Fire Top Mountain. You get the little game piece. It's kind of like sorcery where you have the piece that moves around, but... Alright, <clears throat> here we go. After your two-day hike from Anvil, you reach the base of the infamous Firetop Mountain. It has been a long journey from your home city of Fang, capital of the small but prosperous province of Qingmei, and host of the Trial of Champions. You dream of winning the trial, a grueling challenge to the death. Its reward, a purse of 10,000 gold pieces. However, you must train your body and mind to their peak in preparation for the event. You have heard tales of a beast similar to one allegedly found in the Trial of Champions that resides in the mountain. A man of immense strength who has the head of a bull. Defeating him would make for excellent training. The villagers also let a bit timidly about the fearsome warlock of Firetop Mountain. A cruel warlock whose fortune is built on the slaughter of innocent citizens. You feel duty, bound, that if you happen across this unholy sorcerer, you will do all in your power to destroy him. You approach a cave, a known entrance used by a local band of orcs. Your hand grips the hilt of your sword as you consider what challenges may lie ahead. Your adventure starts here. Alright, let's do it. So, before we get started, I do want to say again, this is by the same guy that made Sorcery. The game is not made by Inkle. The game is made by uh, Tin Man Games or something. But this is, it's Steve Jackson and Ian Livingston made this game. Like, again, like fucking 70,000 years ago. Long time ago. It's the same guy. So, are we ready to go in the cave? Wait, what? Peer, we only got one option here. Peer into the gloom. Okay. You see dark, slimy walls with pools of water on the stone floor in front of you. The air is cold and dank. Hearing faint scurrying to the east, you light your lantern. No, oh, here we go. I get to like be this guy. This place seems perfect for my training. It's cold, wet, and smells of orc. I enjoy a good orc hunt. Step warily into the blackness. You stand in the dark, slimy cave entrance. Approach the fork ahead. Oh, all right. So I can, like... Okay. I can just stand here. 
I'm gonna, should I just, I'm just gonna stand here. Oh, no, I can't just stand here. I have to go. Approach the fork ahead. That's cool. <laughs> That's really cool. Okay. After a few yards, you arrive at a junction. Turn west, turn east. I see an orc. Hmm. Fuck it. This is, uh, wasn't I supposed to find an orc? I'm going this way. A little way along the passage where you come to what is clearly a sentry post. <laughs> He's sleeping. All right. You approach with caution and can see an orc in leather armor asleep at his post. I think this Zagor needs to employ more vigilant guards. This is almost too easy. Carefully approach the sleeping orc. There's no other way through the orc other than straight in front of him. You could try to sneak past, or perhaps the direct approach might be better. Wake the orc and fight him, or try to tiptoe past. Um, fuck it, let's fight him. There's an angry snort from the orc as he wakes, and he grumpily gets up with a start. He draws his weapon and snarls at you, ready to fight. Fight the orc, sorry. I kind of want to see how the combat works, alright. I think this is kind of just like, hey, this is like an enemy, this is how you fight enemies. Alright, so I have 9 skill, 20 stamina, 7 luckies, 6 still, 4... I have no idea what the fuck is going on. We're gonna, like, go back this way. Uh, no, no, no. Alright, there we go. Alright, blade storm, attack, move, no. I'm gonna move... Let's move back. Yeah, let's see what he does. Alright, he just tried to swing forward at me, so that was good that I did that. Uh, let's go this way. Interesting. Okay. Blade storm attack. No, it's not gonna work. No, I can attack like right there. That's not gonna do. All right. Well, that didn't do anything. I think I understand this. So you you can either move or so you like for instance attack. Blade storm is only gonna hit there. Let's just go right in front of him. Let's just see what happens. <laughs> Ow! You bumped me. And well, now I can move this way because he's looking that way. Alright, here we go. Now let's fuck him up. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Shit. Get back over here! I can, I can drag. That's better. Alright, now you're gonna move this way. Now I can hit you. Okay. Cla oh, it rolls to see if you hit him or not. 9 versus 6. 19 to 12. Alright, I got him. He's gonna go over here. We're gonna catch him. We're gonna catch him. Same thing. Attack. All right. What I we get roll again? All right. Fourteen, thirteen. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> There's so much room for error there. Okay. Well, I guess I understand. Didn't lose any stamina. You defeated the orc guard. The passageway begins to widen until you enter a cave. However, blocking the cave's exit are two of the ugliest creatures you have ever seen. They have the proportions of dogs, but their hide is rough and scaly. Each beast is chained to the cave wall, secured to their thick brass collars. The two orc hounds begin to snarl and strain at their chains. Chains. They cannot reach you, but their chains are long enough that should you approach, you will not be able to escape their slavering jaws. Their slobbering jaws. Okay. Killing these unfortunate creatures while chained to the wall would not be good sport. You're gonna have to deal with them quickly, one way or another, before they attract the attention of an orc patrol. Or maybe something even worse. Alright, well, do I want to draw your weapon and do what has to be done, or distract the orc hounds with some food? I kind of don't want to fight them. He said it would be stupid. Let's, do, let's distract them with some food. The orc hounds wait expectantly. What do you want to offer the animals? Throw them a joint. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Where are my provisions? Are in here? Two gold. A short five provisions. Lantern, backpack, rope. Track down a minotaur to defeat in preparation for the trial of champions. Okay. Uh, I have five provisions. Cast yap. 
Let's throw them some food. Taking out a portion of your provisions, you throw the food towards the orc hounds. The hungry animals fight over the food for a moment and then take the choicest pieces to devour on opposite sides of the cave. Not hesitating for a second, you quickly pass between them. However, one of the orc hounds gobbles down the food more quickly than the other, and as you pass by, it lunges at you, catching your calf with one of its vicious tusks. Minus one stamina. Fuck. The passageway turns north. All right, let's keep going. There they are. There were the dogs. You see the dogs? There they are. Leaving the cave as quickly as you can, you follow the new passageway as it turns to the north. Rest ye weary, traveler. Set against the wall is a wooden bench where you may rest. Player, I would strongly advise sitting on this bench. If you do not, Aaron Gottspeed will not be able to resurrect at this location if they perish. What? Sit on the bed. Is this person like lying to me right now? Is it a trap? Should I do it? Hey, thank you, IckyThump9135 for your sub. Thank you, Matthew, for the bits. Narl Apocalyptic Cheeseburger for two months. Mighty Ozone for five months. And Mr. Sandman for the bits. Thanks. There was a Sorcery New Game Plus update. That's cool. Uh, I'm going to sit on it. You sit down on the bench and rest for a moment. Your aching muscles ease and your tiredness wanes. It is good to take a break on your adventure. Plus five stamina. Okay. Continue along the passage. I think I... If I... If I die, I guess I can, like, resurrect here. Alright, let's go. Uh, let's okay. get To your left on the west face of the passage, there is a rough-cut wooden door. You listen at the door and can hear a rasping sound, which may be some sort of creature snoring. Open the door or press on northwards. Put your nasty ass on that bench. Well, there's a creature sleeping behind her. I don't know, should I open this shit up? Done. Let me see here. Bio attacks. We kind of have to open the door. Open the door. Fuck it. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> the door opens to reveal a small, smelly room. In the center of the room is a rickety wooden table on which stands a lit candle. Underneath the table is a small wooden box. Asleep on a straw mattress, groaning in the far corner of the room, is a green-skinned orc. He is a stocky creature with an ugly, warty face. He must be the guard for the Night Watch. Another sleeping orc. Maybe this place was not a great choice for my training. It's too easy. Try to steal the box without waking the orc. Wake up the orc and threaten him. Gently close the door and return to the corridor. <laughs> Should I just fucking scream at him? Wake up the orc and threaten him. Storming over to the sleeping orc. You heave him off his filthy straw mattress to wake him. Get up, fool! You growl in your most fearsome voice. To your surprise, the orc is up on his feet in an instant and very angry at being woken up. He draws his weapon and charges towards you with an almighty roar. Fight the orc. So there's like a table in the way. Right, he's moving here. My move. Yeah, he can swing down that way. I'm gonna smash the fucking table. No, nope, I, I, I can't go that way. <laughs> I can go this way though. Can I not? Oh, I have to move in certain places. Let's go this way. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna go here. He's gonna attack that way. Come back this way. And now, uh, no, he's gonna hit me here. Let's try it again. There it is. And attack. Come on. Five, six, seven. I got him. 16 to 15. Jesus. That was lucky. Do it again. Shit. Hide again. He's going to do two spaces. No, he's only going to do one space. I thought he did two. All right, let's do it again. What the fuck was that? What? No, I had to, like, actually... All right. That was fucking dumb. You have to actually, like, physically click it and then attack. Okay. Clashing. Seven, sixteen, twelve. And I'm getting souls here. 
You lost two stamina, gained two souls, defeated the orc. Alright. With the box in hand, you leave the room and open the box in the passage. Inside, you find four gold pieces and a small mouse, which must have been the creature's pet. I got a mouse friend? You release the mouse, which scurries off down the passageway. Alright. Well, I, I want, like, a fucking mouse friend. Is that mouse gonna help me later on? Uh, follow the passage. Let's just keep going. You arrive at another door. You listen at it, but hear nothing. Do we dare open another one of these doors? Can't you attack diagonally? Uh, I don't think this guy can attack diagonally. <laughs> the mouse is a spy. We're doing fucking balls deep, man. Open the door. Let's go. The door opens to reveal a small room with a stone floor and dirty walls. There is a stale smell in the air. Wait, what? In the center of the room is a makeshift wooden table on which standing a lit candle. Under the table is a small box. In the far corner of the room is a straw mattress. In the center of the room Wait, is a makeshift what? wooden table on which is standing a lit candle. His special attack is diagonal. Isn't it, um... One in front of me, one to my left, one to my right. Because how, how come I, um, see I have front attack, right? I never had the option to do, like, a right attack. Is that because, like, he has to be in the right spot, I guess? Because that's Blade Storm, and that's, yeah, Charging Twin Strike. I guess I can, but I, I, I didn't see the option for it. Open the box. Get it open. Strange runes adorn the box, which is rather light. As you pick it up, something rattles within. Okay. Oh no, it's a snake! <laughs> what? You open the lid and small snakes pop out of the box, eager to bite your wrist. Ooh, peanut brittle. Discover an old orcish trick. Even though you are surprised, you manage to dodge them. Fight the snakes. <laughs> you actually have to fight the snakes in this game? They used to just, like, bite you and run away. Okay, hold on just a moment here. I can attack here. Or, let, let me just take a look at this one more time. See, blade, I can do blade storm attack. Mm, I think I, I gotta turn, I'm gonna attack this guy. Can't hit him, he's too far away. I can't hit here. Alright, this snake is going down. What an idiot, he fucking missed. And there's no dice, huh? That's great. Oh shit, he moved away. Alright, I can hit you here. Flashing. Come on. 17 9, got him. Flashing again, he attacks me. It's, I'm gonna beat these snakes, they're little shit snakes. I'll beat you every time, dude. Oh. Come back down! Come back down, Mr. Snake! Hey! Oh, you fuck. Oh, you little fucker. <laughs> this is why we do the tutorial. Poison now, that's great. You defeated the snakes. The box has fallen to the ground during your fight with the snakes. There appears to be nothing else inside of it. It must have been a practical joke made by one of the orcs. Wait, you decide to continue what? to head deeper into the orcs' barracks. A practical joke? Alright, here's a, here's a decision here. North or continue eastward? Can we look over there and just see? No. I got baited. <laughs> thank you, Baza, for the three months. And Muted Hammy for the three months. Burkish Man, thank you for nine months. Much love, dude. Uh, well, there's, a door, there's a door up here. There's a little enclave. I feel like... North. Am I just going to open every single fucking door? Further up the passage on the west wall, you see another wooden door. 
you listen at the door and hear the worst singing you have ever heard in your life. He's going to open up every... These are all like hotel rooms. Investigate the hideous... Investigate it. Oh, great. The door opens to reveal a small room. The room is dirty and unkempt. A straw mattress lies in one corner. And in the far corner of flight, a steps leads out of the chamber. In the center of the room is a wooden table upon which a candle burns, lighting the room with its flickering flame. A small box rests under the table. Seated around the table are two small orcs with warty skin dressed in leather armor. What are they doing? Who's pouring who a drink here? I don't know. They are drinking some sort of grog, and by the way they stagger to their feet on your arrival, you assume they are very drunk. Drunken orcs could be dangerous. I should try and be polite. Pull out your weapon and leap forward at them. Knock their drinks off the table. Speak to the orcs. Slam the door quickly and run up the passage. <laughs> Fuck your shit! Oh my god, I just actually just broke something, I think. Hold on. Storming towards the table, you swat the orcs' drinks off the table with a fearsome swipe. You're about to threaten them into submission when both of the orcs staggered to their feet. Eh, that's our drinks! One of them slurs, clearly furious at you. The pair stumble for their weapons and before you know it, have a fight on your hands. God damn it, what the fuck? I, we have to fight every single fucking room? Well, they're gonna get double slashed. Blade storm? No, I can't. Um, uh, I can just attack him, but he's gonna move out of the way. I'm gonna move this way. And then he's gonna move and then I'll hit him diagonally. No, I guess not. You just were gonna attack. That's fine. Oh, I hate when that happens. I hate when that happens. Well, he's looking this way. I think they can attack over here. I don't think he can attack here, so I'm gonna move. Well, I just shoved him. That's good. Yeah. I got it. I'm figuring this shit out. That guy was so easy. Oh yeah, I forgot they're drunk. <laughs> yeah, that guy completely missed. Alright. Four souls lost no stamina. You defeated the drunken orc. You wipe your bloodied weapon on the mattress. The green blood leaves a slimy stain on the straw. Stepping over the bodies towards the table, you flinch at the foul stench of the creatures. You pick up the box from under the table and examine it. It's a small wooden box with crude hinges. There are squiggly carvings which you cannot read on a metal plate on its lid. Are we just opening every box and just gonna fucking have like a poison gas hit me in the face? Thank you, Sam, for the five, uh, four dollars and fifty cents. Just because the character in the game knocks everything off the table doesn't mean you actually have to. Well, it, like, you need to, like, hear it. We do, like, sounds and shit, you know? Open the box. The box contains a small leather-covered thing with paper sheets inside of it. The front of the leather has a squiggly pattern on the front. You open it and look inside. The paper is covered in a tiny, in tiny black stains, each one spread across the page horizontally, over and over. They do not have any kind of pattern to them. Can my character not read? The last page seems different from the rest. While there is more of the inky mess, it seems to be in kind of order. However, like the rest, it makes no sense. You rip out the pages in frustration, which makes you feel better. What a waste of time. <laughs> okay, leave the room. What? Leave by the flight of the steps in the corner of the room. Or at least with the door. Well, I feel like I came in here. Might as well go up the stairs. Let's go up the stairs. We came in here. Might as well go up there. Yeah, I can't read. <laughs> Climbing the steps, you finally emerge at the far end of a large room. As untidily kept as you have entered so far. A large chair behind a solid-looking table suggests that someone, or something, of rank uses this room. On one side of the room is a wooden bench. To your right in the far wall of the room is a large door that clearly leads onwards into the mountain. Oh boy. The little red riding hood with a fucking whip. Opposite you is a man-sized creature with a warty face standing over a smaller creature of similar race. 
With the whip in his hand, the orc chieftain has been beating his servant, who is whimpering beneath him. Threaten the pair of orcs. Attack them both. Spring at the chieftain and hope his servant will aid you. Attempt to leave the chamber without engaging in combat. I'm, I'm, I'm springing at the chieftain, man. Spring at the chieftain. As you spring at the orc, his servant rises to his feet, picks up a hefty wooden stick, and joins the melee. But to your disappointment, he attacks you, ungrateful wretch. No, that's great. <sighs> Thanks for nothing. All right, I got an achievement for that. What? Escape quickly through the nearest door or fight? No, fight. Fight them. We need to get practice in how to like, actually do combat. And there's the literal riding hood. I feel like this guy might be a little harder. This blade store move. I can't move there. What does he have for moves? Uh, let's just move this way. Right, they're, they're trying to break the table. Shit, he's gonna hit me. Uh, maybe not. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Ah, I feel like he's gonna do more damage. Should I back it up? Should I back it up? But no, clash. Twin charge strike. Okay, that's fine. Just hit him again. Shit. He missed. He's an idiot. Okay. He's just as dumb as I am. That's good. Oh my god. He's gonna move this way. I'm gonna get this way. What? Fuck you! Stop moving around! Come on. I'm not gonna beat him there. Oh my god. He's gonna move here. Should I blade storm this? And hit this now? I'm gonna try to hit him again. No, of course. Now I kinda have to. I don't think he can hit me up from over here. Fucking <laughs> god. You little shit. I tried to save your life. I'm trying, I'm here to fucking help you. And of course, wait a minute, I think I can do a blade storm here. Nope. Well, I'm stung. Just gonna do it. Fuck it. He's dead. Some asshole. Shit! He has two spaces. Fuck! Finally, God! I just wanted to help the guy. Attack the space where they're gonna move. It's hard to predict that, but you can try it. I'm at a 9 stamina. I have food, though. Pull out your gun. <laughs> Attack where you think they'll be. I'll try that next time. Terrible strategist. Well, we skipped the whole tutorial! I didn't even know that, like, that was a possibility. I don't even know the rules of the game. We're, we're going balls deep. Balls in by fire. Don't you guys understand that? Come on! All right, the green blood of the dead orc smells foul as it seeps their bodies. There's a chest nearby. You step around the corpses and decide to investigate. It is of sturdy construction. Made of strong oak and iron, it is firmly locked. Try and smash the lock with your weapon. Smash it. The lock was obviously inadequate. It flies off and lands on the floor several meters away. You lift up the heavy lid and your eyes widen as you see the gold sheen coming from within. A fair number of gold pieces are inside. In one corner lies a small black bottle with a tight glass stopper containing a liquid of some kind. But as you are admiring this treasure, you hear a soft click and wince in pain as a small dart shoots forward into your stomach. <laughs> Why couldn't I just... You sink to the floor. You pull the dart out and decide to bandage the wound. This gives some relief, but you are still weak. You decide to take it easy and examine the contents of the chest. There is a stash of gold pieces in a full bottle with a paper stuck to it. On the paper are strange inky marks which you Wait, cannot read. What? 25 gold pieces. Will you take the bottle? Yeah. It's probably like blimberry juice. 
You take the strange bottle, it might come in handy during your adventure. Oh, another one of these. You see the bench by the side of the room. This could be a good opportunity to take a rest. Uh, rest and consume some provisions. You sit down on the bench and take out a portion of provisions from your pack. Your moment of rest combined with your healthy provisions make you feel better. Six da. Oh, wow, that's a lot of stamina. Leave the room through the north door. All right, let's go. Beep. Read my bi biography. Bio. Yeah, I already, I already read this. I didn't read like this part though. <laughs> Attributes illiterate. Reading is not your strong suit. <laughs> Fearsome. A terrifying appearance can strike fear into others. Fuck. I, this guy can't really actually can't read. So any item I pick up that has words on it, I will not know what it is. Oh, that's great. That's really fucking great. <laughs> oh, so he really was just like, shit, I can't read this, and like ripped it up. That probably had some really important information. <laughs> I head down the steps and walk straight on eastwards. Let's keep going east. Oh, God. I don't know what this is. You arrive at another junction of the passage. Turn no. Oh, what is this? Turn north or continue east. Okay, there's a, there's a guy up there. You see a guy. There's a door and a guy. Hmm. <laughs> Falls deep. No reading. That doesn't look like an orc to me. But there's another super secret funny door over here though, right? Boss? You think there's a boss? Let's go. Let's see what it is. The passageway leads into a square dungeon chamber. There are two doors on the eastern wall and two in the western wall. On the opposite side of the room, another passageway leads away north. The first door to the yeah. right is well used. And putting your ear to the keyhole, you listen and hear a man screaming for help from the inside. Before deciding what to do next, you listen at the other doors as well. From behind the second door to the right, you hear a thumping sound on the wood. Hello? Hello? Not funny! Open door! The first door to the left is made of solid metal. Listening at the door, you hear the sound of tortured screams coming from within. Putting your ear to the second door to the left, you hear nothing. The orcs have obviously imprisoned some of unfortunate souls. It is my duty to help them. All right, hold on. <laughs> what, uh, there's a lot of fucking doors here. The first door on the right is well used. You listen to hear a man screaming for help. Second door, you hear a thumping sound. Hello, not funny. Somebody's locked in there. They think it's a joke. The first door on the left is made of metal. You hear screaming and tortured people. And there's nothing on the second door on the left. Uh. I feel like this guy is the only guy that has like, is like sentient right now. Illiterate and can't deal with more than three doors at once. Dumb, dumb streamer confirmed. <laughs> Want me to do a poll for this? Door open. Door good. <laughs> uh, you know, no, no, we don't need a poll here. We don't need a poll here. I'm opening up the prank door. Second door on the right is the prank door. the joke door. As you approach the door, the banging gets louder, and the bolt starts to shake. Come on, Nurk! Let me out! Wake it up! Sliding back the rusty bolt and opening the door, you come face to face with a panicked-looking goblin with a horrific creature closing in behind it. Sly beast! Slime beast, run! Squeaks the panicked goblin and lashes out at you. The toad-like slime beast joins in on the fray, opening its wide mouth. It is full of long, spiked teeth. Fight the monsters. Great. Is he fucking gonna actually help me? Please tell me this guy's gonna fight. Oh, God. <laughs> this thing is fucking huge. What? 
Ah. Should I do a blade storm? No. He's gonna yeah, he's helping, he's helping. Seven, eight, nine. 18, 12, got it. Nice, he is helping. Good. He's gonna try to wanna run away here. Uh I'm gonna move. No, I'm gonna move this way. Is he actually fucking helping me? What is he doing? Is he trying to fucking kill me? Oh, you sack of shit. He's gonna move, isn't he? Fuck this guy. Oh my god. Ah, fucking god damn it. God damn it! I'm trying to like predict where he's gonna be. I thought he was gonna go right here. Shit, don't give me snake eyes. God. Hey, he's gonna go this way. Got it. You little asshole. Yeah, hey, see, he can attack me from here. I'm moving away from this fucking dickhead. Of course he's gonna move there, fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you're gonna move that way, are you? Or is he gonna attack me? Move it that way or attack me? He's gonna attack me. Fuck you. Clashing! He just actually beat me. I lost the first roll ever. <laughs> Why? It's like not fucking fair. <sighs> He, he thought I was gonna go that way. Well, you were wrong, buddy. He's gonna attack. No, he's not. He's just gonna keep moving around a fucking circle. Bumbling buffoon with a sword streamer. All right, well, I beat it. We defeated the monsters. Initially, it looks as though there's nothing of value in the slime bee cell. However, upon a second glance, you notice a blue candle sitting in the muck. Take the blue candle or leave the blue candle. I feel like I have to take it. It's probably like an item that I can do. Take the blue candle. Although it is an odd place for a candle, you decide to take it with you. It may come in handy in one of the darker areas of the mountain. You put it in your backpack. Alright, do I... Open the first door on the right containing the screaming man. Tortured screams or the silent room. I'm gonna open this door and there's gonna be a guy in here with a slime monster. Because, watch this, ready? Slime monster in here with a guy. You unbolt the door and swing it open. A nauseating stench hits your nostrils. Inside the room, the floor is covered with bones, rotting vegetation, and slime. A wild haired old man, clothed in rags, rushes at you screaming. <laughs> Ah! What? Oh, <laughs> you can disc. That's weird. <laughs> His beard is long and gray, and he is waving an old wooden chair leg. He is simply insane as he appears. Or has this been some kind of trap? You try to shout at him and calm him down. Threaten the old man into submission or draw your whip. Shout at him. You shout. You are freed, old man! At the top of your voice, instantly. His ranting cease. He stops dead in his tracks and sinks to the floor, weeping loudly. As he gradually composes himself, he thanks you many times. Many years ago, he was an adventurer like you in the search of the warlock's treasure. He was captured by the orcs and thrown into his solitary cell as a sort of pet for the creatures. I feel for this one's great warrior. These orcs have no respect. You ask him for advice, but he says he, I don't know anything. He advises you to pay your respects to the boatman. He tells you that you must pull the right hand lever. Oh, don't fuck around here. Hold on. You ask him for advice, but he says he knows little. He advises you to pay your respects to the boatman. He tells you that you must pull the right hand lever on the wall ahead to open the iron gate at the end of the passage. He has also learned that the keys to the boathouse are guarded by a man and his dog. You shake hands and he leaves. All right, pay your respects to the boatman. Remember that. Pull the right hand lever on the wall. Be respectful to the boatman and plus one luck. Leave the filthy cell. Do I dare open in the other ones? Shit. 
Should I even do this? I feel like that I feel like this was the correct one to do. This is bad and like the all the other ones are bad and I just got the right one on, on the second try. What do you think? Tortured screams. Silent door. Or should I just leave? Oh <laughs> look at the Irish. Tortured screams. Why did I do that? That was fucking stupid. The door is not locked and opens. The room in front of you seems to be a small torture chamber with various torture devices around the walls. In the center of the room, two small what? hunchbacked what? goblins are having their fiendish way with a dwarf who is tied to a hook in the ceiling by his wrists. The two hunchbacks are poking and cutting him viciously with their swords. The dwarf lets out a final scream and falls silent, eyes closed. His captors make disappointed noises and look around angrily at you as if it were your fault that the dwarf has collapsed. You must act quickly. <laughs> okay, hold on. Close the door quickly and avoid getting involved. Draw your weapon and fight the creatures. Give the dwarf a jab with your sword and put on an evil laugh for the torturers. Uh, <laughs> I only have eight stamina. I think I should try it. What do you think? <laughs> He's already dead. He's already dead. Stab him. <laughs> you feel guilty, but try to put the dwarf quickly out of his misery. The two goblin torturers look at each other amazed, then look at you. They chatter to themselves and then indicate for you to wait while they go off and get another dwarf to give them some more fun. Oh, Jesus Christ. They disappear out of the room and you cut down the dwarf who is, as you guessed, quite dead. You decide it best to leave before the goblins return. <laughs> Somebody just said something fucking terrible in chat. Something terrible. Jeez. All right, leave the torture chamber. <laughs> second door, might, might as well. I'm here, open the second door. <laughs> the door is unlocked. Opening it, you find yourself at the threshold of the orc's weapon store. A torch hangs from one wall, lighting up a small armory room stocked with swords, shields, helmets, daggers, breastplates, and the like. Ooh! Swords, shields, mail. Broken shit? Okay. A circular iron shield with a golden crescent lies at the far end of the room. However, as you do not use a shield, it is worthless to you. Well, that's just great. <laughs> Search <laughs> Search the room. <coughs> Hold on a second. Okay, boogers were just kind of coming up. All right, you poke around the room. The weapons are blunted and worthless, and the helmets are battered and rusty. You decide to inspect the breastplates on the shelves to see if there is anything worthwhile there. Behind one of the breastplates is a shiny key. It seems quite important. You decide to take it. A shiny Zagor's key. That seems very important. Okay, leave the room. I got what I needed. Pretty much got all the items. I got a key. I got a crazy old man. I got it. Leave the chamber. Uh-oh. Exiting the dungeon, you hear the sound of water ahead of you and make out a grilled portcullis at the end of the passageway. Before you can reach the portcullis, you will have to cross a bridge that passes over a gully of gurgling, brackish water. You suspect it may actually be a sewer, judging by the smell rising from it. Only one option. As you make your way towards the bridge, you pass some goblins, which appear uglier than all the creatures you have encountered so far. Oh, what the fuck? Come on. The instant one of the goblins catches sight of you, it gives a screech of surprise and runs at you with its short sword drawn. Kill! 
Kill! It shouts, drawing the attention of two other goblins. They all attack. What the fuck? Oh, come on. I got, okay, this is where I gotta shine. Here. I gotta get my triple kill here. I have no stamina. Alright, so let me see this. Okay, Blade Storm is left. It's all around you. I have to get up here. Come on. Come on, here we go. Blade Storm. No, I'm not. What? I'm not. My, 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 this is not in a good spot. Move down. You come down here, you little shit. Ah! Come on! Oh, come on, for the love of God. Just fuck this guy up. Alright, I'm gonna go for it, because he's gonna move right there. Nope, he isn't. It's alright. Mm, nope. He's gonna go down there, attack right there. Come on, move down there. Come on. Six stamina. You think he's gonna attack me or you think he's gonna move? He's gonna attack me. No, he's gonna move. He's gonna attack. No, he's gonna move. What are they doing? Like, fucking fight me, guys. This might be a good opportunity here. No, fuck it. I could if I could get up there, but that's too risky. Just move. Here we go. Eat shit. <laughs> fuck this. I'm actually not doing too bad. I can only do that. Uh, I can't do Blade Storm again. He. I don't think he's gonna attack over here. He will. Got it. Yeah, twin charge strike. I can't see what it looks like. Okay, yeah, there we go. It's really finicky. See, like when I go up here and I'm like, oh, twin charge. It, it doesn't show me the other side. Alright, let's- he's gonna move right there. Got him. I'm good. Go in the corner and yes. <laughs> you lost two stamina, you gained six souls. You defeated the goblins. Cool. Hey, thank you, Garrosh Hexscream, for the bits. Uh, Melee Island, thank you for the bits. R. Rosen for three months. Coffee and memes for the bits. Wait, One what? true squid for three months. ETT110, thanks for the sub. Wolfie977. Dank Scroob for the bits. Thank you for the bits. Mr. Jenkins, thanks for the sub. Thanks. Odent. Odente for 14 months in a row. Holy shit. Thank you, Odent. Odente. Let's go. You arrive at the end of the passage, an iron portcullis blocks your way, and no amount of Charging is going to budget. On the wall to your right are two levers, and it seems likely that these levers have something to do with raising the portcullis. Pull the right yeah. lever. Right? It was the right one, right? Pull the right lever. Chicken? Left? No, it was right. He said, Oh, you gotta pull the right lever to make sure you... I'm not gonna get fucked here. I can't even go. I, yeah. I can't even cheat. I can't scroll anymore. It's the right one. Pull the right lever. Oh god. Ah. Left. Come on. You guys. Are, you guys are trying to get me killed already? We got. That was like the first little dungeon. On the wall to your right are two levers, and it seems likely that yeah, yeah, yeah. You hear a deep rumbling noise, and the ground begins to shudder. Slowly and noisily, the portcullis rises into the Wait. ceiling. What? It looks as though I have now left the orc barracks. I think I've probably killed around 13 enemies. For a guy that can't fucking read, he sure can count. Without hesitation, you walk towards the junction, listening carefully. However, you hear nothing down either corridor. All right. Uh, let's leave this out. Let's see what you guys want to do. Left or right? I feel like I got a, a good grasp of how the game works at this point, so... Left. 
or right. Which way are we gonna go? Please vote. If you want to. You don't have to. But please. Please vote. Give this about 30 seconds. Let's take a look. Can't really see over there, although there's like a bunch of eyeballs over here, and it looks like to be like a train tracks thing over here. Above. <laughs> Go above. Hey, bloody doctor, thanks for the sub. Two months. Somehow your sickness has got to me. Worst streamer ever. Sorry. Don't you know you can get sick from fucking radio waves? Emo the dog. Emo the hedgehog. Thanks for the sub. And Jung and Jungling. Thank you for the sub. Also, one true squid. Think I got you, but thanks for the sub. Three months in a fucking row. All right, about ten more seconds. Looks like we're gonna go left. Or uh, or a west, technically. Left is west, right is east, if you didn't fucking know. Five seconds. Options are west and east. Well, like, left is the same thing. West and east, west is, and east is left and right. All right, that's gonna be it. Thank you for voting. Left or west has won by 224. Thank you for voting. Much appreciated. And we're gonna go west. Left. Vwist! <laughs> Are you liking the game so far? Yeah, I mean, we're just barely getting into it, so... We'll see what happens in the next uh, few minutes. Let's go west. West. Mm, Alright, here we go. The passage begins to widen and you soon arrive at another junction. Turn and head north or continue west. I feel like we kind of have to go in here. This is just like another little dungeon. I'm gonna turn and head this way. Turn and head north. The passage looks as though it is entering into a large cavern. There appears to be no way through. What? What is that? What do you mean, no way through? I'm going in. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> As you enter the cavern, you hear loud footsteps behind you, crunching heavily on the rocky floor. You crouch down beside the entrance in a small alcove. The steps get louder and you see a great ogre enter the cavern. He stands over two meters tall and is dri- Two meters tall. Isn't that like fucking tiny? Wait, two meters, that's like isn't that, like, not that tall? And is dressed in ill-fitting garments made from some sort of hide. He carries a large wooden club. It's about seven feet. That's not that bad. Two metres. <laughs> Over two metres. Over two metres. Doesn't get math. Three feet plus it, yeah, like an ogre is like six, or six, six and a half, seven feet tall. I know, I like know a guy that's like six, seven. He ain't that fucking scary. Please, come on. This creature will provide a great training opportunity. We were, wow, a poke of invisibility. No, I ain't doing this. Try to creep out without him noticing you. Try to distract him by throwing, no. I have six stamina. <laughs> oh, you know a guy, huh? I'm trying. I'm creeping yeah. away. The ogre lazily steps into the cavern, not expecting anything to be there. You should be able to sneak past him. Test your luck. Oh, you roll dice for this shit. What do I need to roll? I don't even know what I need to roll here. You needed a score of seven or under, and rolled a score of nine. What? In what world do you need less? 
What the fuck? Oh, oh shit! I kept the stone. Whoops! God damn it! I'm gonna die. Oh dear God! I don't even know what he does for moves either. I'm fucking dead here. I don't even know what happens when you die. And it's so big too. I'm nine skill, ten stamina. Nine skill, ten. We're like equally matched here. All right, here we go. Mm, he can probably hit like this whole thing. <laughs> Shit, I'm so scared. Uh, should I attack him? Can I attack him? It's all about rolls. All right, I caught him off there. I'm still gonna hit him. He's so big. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. Fuck this. Move. Okay, he can attack two there. Move. As long as I can get him to fucking move over here, I can hit him on a bunch of different squares. I gotta go in. Nice, nice, nice. Going again. Blade storm. Hard. Come on. Five, six, seven. You fucker. Do it again. No. Move over here. Perfect, 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 perfect. No, not perfect, not perfect, not perfect. Yes, 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 yes. Do it again. Six, seven, eight, nine. Got it. Yes. That was fucking pretty lucky. <laughs> Cornered strategic genius. He defeated the ogre. The slain creature crashes to the ground. You go through his garments and find nothing but a small pouch hangs around his neck. You look inside his pouch, but it appears to be empty. So this is his cave. Search the ogre's cave. Finding nothing of value in the cavern, it is only as you are preparing to leave that you notice the narrow fissure in the far wall. It is just about big enough for a human to squeeze through, but is much too narrow for an ogre to do the same. I can use my dice to influence the dice as they roll? Well, you kind of just shake them around or something? It's still random, but yeah. Alright, um... I mean, we're here. We need to see what happens. We need to see what, what's going on. What's in here? It's like, oh, there's a fucking spider in here. Can I eat something? Provisions. I need to... I have to. I need to eat something. The, like, there's just... I'm gonna die if I didn't do that. I might even do another one. No, I'm not. No, nope. Seven is okay. You enter a large cavern with a natural pool of water. Stalagmites have formed naturally, rising from the floor. There are a number of exits, some of which are blocked. While you have surveyed the area, you have failed to notice that the three fire-top spiders, which are now almost on top of you, their mandibles glisten as they close in, eager for a feast. Mm. Fight! The spiders! The mandibles are so treacherous! I didn't even fucking... I tried to hit attack, but, you know, I fucked it up. Damn it, dude. You're such a crock of dog shit. Seven is okay, remember that. <laughs> Please die to spiders. Look, I- it was a mistake. It was just a mistake. How's that for a mistake? And just watch this. Uh, how's that for a mistake? Hmm? What's that? He's gonna be right there. He's gonna come. He's gonna come right there. I'll do this all day, dude. Got ya. Got ya again. Is that a mistake? Flawless. Nine souls. That's more than the ogre gave me. Uh, with the fire top spiders dealt with, you put away your weapon and decide where to go next. There are multiple tunnels leading off with some that appear blocked. The east passage is covered with thick webs and there appears to be movement inside. 
I'm not the biggest fan of spiders, so I will probably avoid that passage over there. We're going in. You begin hacking at the webs and make your way into the passage. After a moment or two, you realize that this was a poor choice, as you are suddenly surrounded by hundreds of fire top spiders. There is a small brief sting and you drift off into a dreamless sleep. <laughs> Waking up, you discover that you have been wrapped in a cocoon, struggling to free yourself. You realize that you are unable to move. As you attempt to move your head, you see the corpse of another unfortunate adventurer. You are filled with a nauseous feeling of dread. Without warning, the body bursts open and thousand and a thousand small spiders swarm out, heading straight towards their latest meal. All you can do is scream in agony as they begin to feed on you. Soon you cannot even do that as they fill your mouth. Your last memory is of spiders feeding on you in the burning pain of a thousand bites. I'm dead. I died. I should have listened to my stupid fucking illiterate guy. I'm not a fan of spiders. Don't go that way. Bullshit. Oh dear, it looks like the mountain has claimed yet another victim. Would you like to use a resurrection stone and return Aaron Gottspeed? To the last resting bench you and gah! Oh, go back to the main fucking menu. Holy shit, death is terrible. What? That's so far away. Uh, I... I can't... Okay, yes, uh, let me use a resurrection stone. Oh my god. Holy shit. <laughs> no. Oh, that sucks. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Well, use the souls on a new character? I mean, I already have this guy. I mean, I could go down the stairs this time, but wow, that's fucking pretty. That's, I guess that's not... I, I gotta get the old guy gives me a luck. I get a key from there. No, here, here's what I'll do. This is what we're gonna do. I could go down. Yeah, we'll go down. We haven't even seen it. You're about to descend the steps when you suddenly see a large group of orcs walking the passage toward you. <sighs> While the training would be good, even I need to admit when the tide would be making an escape to the east. Okay, you can't even go down there. I could go that way. I already have this illiterate, ugly character. Well, that means I have to do the dungeon again, doesn't it? I could just go through this and open this door and this door to get the key. Funny door? Alright, fine. Alright, we'll, we'll do the funny door. The passage ends at a solid wooden door with metal hinges. Listening at the door, you hear strange mutterings and the clatter of what could be pots and pans. Whatever is in there, there are several of them. Go in. Oh shit! Dwarves! You open the door into a large room, which is the orcs. There's a fucking hundred orcs in here. Okay. It's an orc dining room. Sitting around a large table are five orcs busily drinking and dribbling their bowls of rat gizzard soup. All are involved in a rowdy argument as to who will get to chew the rat bones left in the large soup cauldron. So they do not see you enter. Five orcs. This could be quite a challenge. One I accept. Am I about to fight five orcs at the same time? I mean, I'll get souls for it, won't I? R.I.P. Giant Rat. Let's just fucking fight them all. 
Taking advantage of the fact that the orcs have not yet seen you, you dive into the fray ready to attack. Intruder! To your feet, fools! The remaining orcs scramble to their weapons and attack. Yeah, let's, let's fight five things at the same time. This is this was a bad idea. That was a dumb idea. What is a gizzard? It's like it's like the turkey neck. <laughs> well, at least this stupid. Aha! God damn it! Did I? All right, we're good. I'm gonna move down here. Get this guy right here. All right, now you're getting lined up. What the fuck? How do you lose that shit? I don't understand. No, I want to go this way. Turn your body. Turn you. What just happened? No, turn your body this way. Oh my god. I guess still alive now. I got 40 souls. That's a lot of souls. Shit. Damn it. Do it again. Ah! Stupid. Hmm, I should probably move. Yeah. Got ya! Table was in the way. <laughs> ah, now he's gonna move. I'll clash with this guy and then give me the give me the fucking flawless victory. Spinal Jesus. At least I got a lot of souls for that. <laughs> Sorry, Bill. You lost four stamina and gained ten souls. There's a bunch of doors in here. You search the bodies of the dead orcs, but find only a few teeth, nails, bones, and knives in their pockets. Leading off from this chamber are four doors. <laughs> Ah, uh, another fucking guessing game. Open the north, east, south. I could just leave. Open the north door. The door opens into a chilly larder. Most of the food being stored here is clearly for a more inhuman palate. However, you do find enough pieces of mold-free fruit and not too stale bread to make up two meals worth of provisions. That's actually pretty good. Mmm! Yummy! Where do you want to go now? One of these is going to have like a poison dart in it. Open the east door. Jesus. The door opens easily and you enter a humid chamber. The air is thick with the smells of unpleasant things being boiled in the large cauldron that hangs over a fire in the center of the room. Look around the kitchen. On the opposite side of the bubbling cauldron stands an obese orc cook that is stirring what appear to be intestines into the seething broth and does not appear to have spotted you yet through all the steam. A goblin is holding jars of spices, eagerly hoping to assist its master in some way. Should I just go, go after the cook? Attack the cook! The orc's huge belly wobbles as it waddles towards you, ready to chop you into little pieces with the cleaver it is wielding in one hand. Its goblin apprentice throws its spice jars at you, but they clatter harmlessly off. Let's go, buddy. The cook and his goblin apprentice. Got a lot of health for a little shit goblin, I'll tell you that. Does he have... Okay, yeah, I knew it. For a second I was like, I knew he had that move. He's gonna move. Come on, move. Shit, you fucker. Alright. Come. 
die. Just barely beat it. Thank God. Why would you attack that far backwards? What the hell is that guy doing? Alright, you defeated the orc cook. Lost some stamina, got some souls. Alright, there's gotta be food in here, right? The cook dead, you clean the vile green blood from your weapon by wiping it on the cook's apron. With such a large cooking pot, there must be enough of this horrid stew to feed an army. Just how many of these creatures are lurking within the mountain? I think that was kill number 15. What's with this guy in counting? He keeps counting the number, number of enemies he's killed. Search in the kitchen, you discover that there is nothing in the cook's kitchen that you would even consider eating. Knock the fucking pot over. With a mighty kick, you tip over the pot, and the grotesque contents spill out onto the floor. Some of the vile soup begins scalding the bodies of the dead orc and goblin. Unidentifiable ingredients are strewn about on the floor. As you look at the soup and discuss, as you, <laughs> as you discuss the soup, you notice a glint. There appears to be a shiny key within the remains of the soup. You take it. Zagor's key. So there, there, there's two places where you can... My immersion. My immersion. My poor immersion is broken. That key was in here. Let's go in the south door. You enter what is clearly a storeroom. You spend some time searching the cupboards around the room, but only... Find only crude bowls, plates, and spoons. And then, on a dresser, you find a leather case. I must be careful. This case could have... Somebody could have tried to lure me into a trap. Open it! The case opens easily, and inside you find a magnificent bow and one silver arrow. There are strange symbols on the case, which you cannot read. <laughs> Did I take the bow and arrow? Take the silver bow and arrow. I'm assuming that, okay, one luck. With nothing else of interest in the room, you decide to leave. That's all the kitchen. Why wouldn't there be multiple copies of a key? Mm hmm. So what, now what's in here then? Because we got screaming old man. Yeah, okay, so it was, the screaming old man was in this one, right? Second door? No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Second door, you hear it? No, it's not the second door. It's the first door. Yeah, the first door. This is where the old guy is. Open the first door on the right. He goes, ah, screams at you. And then you say, hey, 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 sh sh calm down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a pet for the creatures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those uh, orcs are fucking terrible people. You shake his hand. He tells you to pull the passage. And he should give me some luck here, right? Be nice to the boatman. Good luck. Leave the cell. Alright, now, what was the other one? It's not this one. That's where the slime monster was. And it's not this one. It's where the torture chamber was. It was the second door on the left, right? Okay. Yeah. Wait, Find something that uh, works. Weapon store. Okay, I can't take the shield, but search the room. So what else is in here? Shiny key! Dagger's key! How many, like, I have two of the same key? Okay. Slime monster had the candle. Ah, uh, fuck. Yeah, he did. Should I even go for the... I have enough provisions to eat two of them. Ah, uh, all right, let's, let's go to the right. Let's, we, I mean, might as well, we, we're here. Get the candle. Time to fight the two monsters. Go save the dwarf. <laughs> Jab the dwarf. Well, no, that didn't really do anything for me. Let me win this, please. Nice. Oh, you little shit. Six, seven. That's good. All right, he's dead. He's gonna... I'm not gonna move over there. He'll be... Alright. Now you're in big trouble. How would you move backwards? Move forwards. Stupid. Give me the candle. 
Take the blue candle. All right, now we're back where we were before. We're good. Leave the chamber. Open this fucking door. Go towards the bridge. Wait, wasn't there a bunch of goblins and shit here? Oh, god damn it. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> Kill gob. <laughs> Well, let's just move. No, well, I'll get one of them at least. Oh, that, that was dumb. That was real dumb. He's gonna hit me from over here, isn't he? No, well, I blew that. Alright, I'll take it. Come on! Come on! Attack right here! Ah! You son of a bitches! Finally! <laughs> oh god, dear, come on! Oh, I fucking swear to god. Are you gonna move? No, he's not gonna move this time. Of course he's not. No, fuck you, buddy. You ain't winning this one. <laughs> you fucker! No way! No way in any world would you have done that. And he's gonna move this way. You are really trying my pa- this guy's trying my patience. And the times that he doesn't move. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Killed the goblins. Alright, pull the fucking left one. Just kidding, pull the right one. All right, we're back here. We need to find another one of those benches. Oh, I've killed 20 enemies. Are you keeping track? What's my KD? All right, I got 14 health. This time we're gonna go east. I ain't fucking around with the spider cavern anymore. And look what's right here. Look what's right here. Right here. Chat! 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 If you had gone this way, we wouldn't have been in this predicament! <laughs> Cautiously, you creep along the passageway. After a short time, you reach a fork in the path, with the path continuing northwards. Eastward, you can see a broad stone bridge! Ooh! Look, a seat! A wooden toilet. Sit on the bench and rest. <laughs> I voted right. <laughs> what does Chad know? Oh, fuck you, Chad. Chad. Alright, you sit down on the bench, you rest for a while, your aching muscles ease. Plus five stamina, I didn't need to eat, so that was good. Alright, wh which way are we going here? East? This way where the mining cart is? We? You're playing the game. <laughs> well, no, I did a vote for which way to go. Ow! For which way we were gonna go. And, uh, and Chad voted to go the other way. Let's just keep going. Uh, okay, alright, we're going that way. There's a huge bridge. This is scary. Uh, you follow the path to the east soon enough, you arrive at a broad but cracked stone bridge, which leads over a yawning subterranean chasm. Chasm. On the other side of the bridge, you can see an archway carved to resemble a huge dwarven head. With no other options, you start to cross the bridge. No sooner have you taken a few steps that the floor begins to crumble. You break into a run to avoid the crumbling floor. Test your skill. Oh, shit. What do I need? I don't even know what I need here. What do I need? I don't know what... I did 12.
You tumble into the darkness floor. Ooh, still alive! Still alive! Still alive! You feel like you're falling for some distance before you finally splash down into icy cold water. You quickly rise to the surface, coughing up lungfuls of the cold, rank-tasting water. The current carries you forward, and looking ahead, you can see what the water is being drawn down into a sucking whirlpool. The whirlpool pulls you under into the churning darkness. You struggle to hold your breath as the current buffets you, knocking Wait, you against the what? rocky walls of the river. Test your skill. I don't want anything over a nine. Yes, eight. You fight against the incredible current. And you make it out alive, motherfucker. You're alive. <laughs> Just when you think you can't hold your breath any longer, you feel yourself rising. Your head breaks the surface again, and you gulp down great lungfuls of air. You're carried through another high-roofed cavern from the river's outflow. By the dim glow lighting the cavern around you, you make your way up onto a rocky ledge to your right. Swim to the rocky ledge or let the river carry you down. No, that's the worst thing you could do. I'm gonna, like, jump back in the water. Swim to the rocky ledge. Didn't I do this in the last Guardian? Grabbing hold of a jutting outcrop, you take a moment to recover your breath before pulling yourself up onto the ledge. The ledge narrows, and there's no way for you to continue along it. To your left, the river races away towards distant daylight. Falls deep, river deep. Just to dawn. But by the way, and by the way, but fight the fucking bats that came out of nowhere. Look at all these bats. <sighs> Fuck me. Okay, they can swing in like three directions. As long as I don't move. Yeah. Come on. Go that way, you little shit. Yes. Got it. Nice. We bumped into each other. That was a lot of souls for one bat. I do not want to move over there. I'd rather just attack it because they can swing in all the directions around them. Let's play smart here, guys. What do you say? Okay, so he's going to go here and here. I'm safe to go here. And attack. Son of a bitch. Give me a break. Oh, well, he can't hit me, so. It's five, six, seven, eight. Just barely won that one, thank God. You defeated the bats! When you have slain many of their number, the bats break off their attack and return to their roosts in the roof of the cave. You have no choice but to dive back into the water and see where the current takes you. There was no point for me to come over there and fight those bats. Jump in the water again. <laughs> ah. Am I on a Disney World ride or am I playing a game? When's the big drop? The current deposits you on a sandy bank. And as you get to your feet, you look around and find yourself in a large cave with damp walls. There's also a strange, unpleasant slime oozing out of the cracks in the walls. I think that's enough swimming for one day. Another challenge awaits, it seems. I love these little internal monologues that the guy has. You start to search the cave for a way out when suddenly shapes emerge from the slimy walls. Three slime zombies. Cadavers of unfortunate adventurers, now animated mindlessly by the slime they are encased in. As you draw your weapon to defend yourself, a horrifying slime worm appears from within the slime to join the ambush. Fight the fucking slime monsters! Alright. Okay, guys. Let's fight this let's fight the slime crew. He can he can attack really far. Uh, he's not looking this way. I'm gonna go for this guy. Yeah. He's 
not looking this way. Go for this guy again. Shit. I should have known that was going to happen. I. I. I have to back up. It's going happen again. Poisoned. He's looking at the rock. Good for him. Nice. Turn back around here. Come back this way. I don't want to go over there. Come on. Before the giant slime tube gets over here. Quick. It's all right. It's all right. Okay. I gotta get right up this guy's ass. He can't hit me from here. All he can do is hit over me. That's good. Free kill. Nope. Ooh, somebody just got a little bit screwed there. <sighs> okay. Secret slime action. Cornering myself? No, I was doing that because of the slime worm. You saw what I did, don't worry. With the horrid slime worm and slime zombies disposed of, you can look for a way out of this dangerous cavern. But first, you decide to check the creatures for spoils. The slime worm has nothing as you expect, but as you search the sticky slime covered body of the slime zombies, you discover a few useful items. Firstly, some gold pieces, and secondly, a potion of skill. You clean the excess goop from these things and stow them into your pack. Potion of skill. What does that do? Tracing your fingers across the end of the cave, you find a hidden crack that you hadn't noticed before, which leads to a widening passageway. Okay, I can only do that. What is a potion of skill? I can't, I can't use it or anything. You squeeze through the passageway and finally reach an opening. You step into a splendidly decorated room with a polished marble floor. The secret door seals shut behind you. <laughs> you're, in, you're in some guy's house. All right, this has got a little, this has got weird. There are a number of paintings hanging on the wall and a dwarven woman is staring at them intensely, giggling madly. Her hair is unkempt and her clothes are ragged. Her eyes are sunken and tired as though she has not slept for weeks. At her feet are an assortment of strange trinkets. Small bones, teeth, gold pieces, bits of half-eaten food, and splintered pieces of wood. Some of these objects have been placed underneath various paintings. Master! Master! Look what Thomiel has brought for you today! She murmurs. If I had to live a life in this place... I am sure I would go mad, too. Speak with the dwarf, ignore the dwarf in paintings, and leave the room? Let's talk to her. Speak with the dwarf. You ask the dwarf who she is talking to. She tries to stifle fits of giggling, then burst into peals of shrieking laughter. <laughs> why, why, Thomiel is talking to the master, of course. Her eyes dart around the room as she chuckles to herself, then she nods. The master always is here. Here, here, there, everywhere. <laughs> you ask who the master is. Suddenly, the giggling stops. The voice coming out of Thomiel's mouth is no longer her own, but that of a deep baritone of a man. <laughs> you... <laughs> you... I can't do it now. You know who the master of this mountain is, adventurer. Suddenly, your feet slide across the floor, and the floor is fucking tossing you around towards one of the paintings as though being pulled by maggots. Magnets! You soon, you come face to face with one of the paintings, that of Sagor himself. Oh, shit! Find a weapon in your pack to fight the warlock's power. Ah. Uh, find a weapon in your pack. Which item will you try against the gaze of the painting? Hit the painting with your weapon. Plunge a wood throw cheese. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Why don't I 
I have any cheese? Shit. I wish I had cheese. God damn it. Alright, hit the painting with your weapon. Your weapon flies out of your hand into the air and you must leap aside as it comes down on you. It grazes your cheek as it falls, hastily grabbing your weapon. You scramble to the exit. Minus one skill. Leave the room. <laughs> I bet that's the right thing to do. I, probably. God, I wish I had cheese. Listen to this, like, haunted house music, by the way. Terrified of the warlock's powerful magic, you run out of the room as fast as you can and slam the door shut behind you. You never want to enter that room again. Ooh, look. A wooden toilet. Perfect. Just up the passageway, there is a small alcove. Yeah, yeah, it's a sure thing. Sit on the bench and rest. You sit down on the bench and rest for a moment. Your aching muscles, yeah. Take five stamina. And there is a checkpoint. Good. Before long, you arrive at another junction branching off to the east and the west. Hey, thank you, Fixie Tales, for the sub. Sir Fratley for two months. Jim, thank you for two months. Finish this quote. If you can't handle me at my worst, obey your thirst. That's the quote, man. That's the good quote. Uh, Bloody Doctor, thank you for two months. JB79, Minor Moha, thank you for the sub. And right now, Croden with 10 bucks, 1,000 bits. Oh, by, by the way, by the way, by the way, I completely forgot to mention this because I just saw it today or yesterday or whatever. I think you can add a, like, hashtag or something to your, to your bits when you cheer, like, cheer or something. And it actually will, Twitch will give money to charity. Uh, I, like, I don't exactly know how it works, but I know that, like, as of right now, for, like, the next week or two, I think, if you put, like, a certain tag on your bits... Um, some of it actually will, like, Twitch will, will give, like, it to charity, I guess, in some, in some way. I just, like, heard about that, like, in, there you go, if you want it. Is, it. is it hashtag charity? It's, like, something cheer, right? Hashtag charity cheer or something. Hashtag fruit. <laughs> yeah, I just want to be, in, in case you didn't know, I'm, I'm sure there's a, there's an easy way to find out how to do it. Doctors without, without borders. That's a good cause. Have some charity. Did that work? I hope so. Charity and bits messages and Twitch will give 20% to charity. That's cool. I mean, if you want to... If, if, you're, if you're already giving bits, then it's probably not... It, like, it's probably not that hard to, to do it, so... But, anyways, thank you, uh, Croden, for the 10 bucks. I uh, just got into the stream. What is this game? It looks like an Inkle game, but probably isn't. This is the Warlock of Firetop Mountain. It's a game on Steam right now. It is not an Inkle game. But it is a game by Steve Jackson and Ian Livingston. So it's by what? the same people that made Sorcery. I think it was like one of their first games they ever made. But thanks a lot for the uh, for the bits, Croton. And also, Never Trust a Purple gave $5 a while back, about 30 minutes ago. Better call Stir for a Revive. Thank you, Don, for the uh, 190 bits. Make sure I got the uh, most of the bits there. Uh, Will, sarcasm, 1,500 bits, and then hashtag charity. Oh, well, it looks like some of you guys are using it now. That's good. So this is older. The, the game is newer. The game came out in 2016. But the book, I believe, is older than sorcery, I, th I think, if I can recall. But thank you, Will, for the 15 bucks. Some of that will be going to charity. Thank you. Doctors Without Borders. Good cause. Let's keep going. Thanks, guys. Let's continue our quest in the Warlock of Firetop Mountain. Before long, yeah, yeah, yeah. Head east, head west. Uh, secret funny door. Or let's go east. I kind of want to stay in this room, this area. Yeah. Okay, big giant chest. Oh, look, there we go. 11646 dollars total raised so far for Doctors Without Borders. Six more days to show support by cheering with hashtag charity. Oh, there you go. That's cool. Alright, you step into a room and the first thing you notice is a huge ornate stone altar. Carved into it are dwarven runes, which you cannot decipher. 
Scattered around the altar are piles of objects, weapons, animals, goblets, and other miscellaneous shit. Everything is made from solid silver. I have no time to tarry here. I must not be distracted by petty trinkets. You take a closer look at the altar. Sit on the altar. <laughs> I'm the god now. Search through the objects. Put five gold pieces on the altar. Sit on the altar. Should I just disrespect the fuck out of this place? What do you guys think? That would be horrible. I think I might put five gold pieces on. Weapon, I get, I don't know. Sit, sit, sit. No, it's gonna like electrocute me. I'm gonna get electrocuted to death. Throw cheese at the altar. This is gonna be a mistake. I'm going to put five gold pieces on the altar. You scatter five gold pieces into the altar as an offering. Then, something strange happens. The gold pieces transform into silver. Yeah, guess what? If I sit on this thing, I'm going to turn to silver. <laughs> Place the weapon on the altar. You carefully place your weapon on the altar, then you gasp. Within moments, it has transformed into a fine silver version of itself. You take your silver weapon from the altar, testing it in the air. Transmute your weapon into silver. I'm not gonna sit on it. I don't want to turn into silver and die, and then have to restart the fucking game again. <laughs> Just read the announcement. Thank you, Darren J, for the 500 bits. It says, Twitch donates to the charity separately. It doesn't come out of the streamer's bits. But that's fucking awesome. That's really cool. But yeah, that thanks, Darren, for the five bucks. Thank you, Croden, for the five bucks as well, for charity and for the kids. Well, that's good. Thank you, guys. Sit on the altar. Pull for sitting. No, because I know if I do a poll for sitting, you guys are going to make me do it. I'm going to search through the pile of objects. You rummage through the piles of strange silver objects. The animal sculptures in particular are quite lifelike and seem to all have an expression of shock. There are goblets, daggers, cutlery, belt buckles, and random assortment of other objects. There appears to be a silver crucifix buried within the pile of objects. You decide to take it. Yeah, no, I'm returning to the junction. These are all, look at there's a guy here. There's like animals that sit on it. I'm not sitting on that shit. I'm going to turn into the Tin Man. But if you're more powerful and sit in your silver form? <laughs> I don't want to sit on it. <laughs> you could sit on it and be fine, but but what the chance is that did you see the did you see the cat that was turned to silver and it's screaming in shock? It's no, it's over. We're going. We're out. Turn into Iron Man. <laughs> Thank you, Ragglefrack. <laughs> Be <laughs> you guys are fucking hilarious. The passageway ends at a stairwell. At the top you find yet another wooden door. This time. A small one with a carved bone handle. You listen but hear nothing coming from inside. You try the handle and the door opens into a room with a sandy floor. You can hear the sound of fast flowing water. My training isn't going well so far. My tally must be around 27. And I need to be doing better than that if I'm to challenge the trial of champions. Look, if you kill 27 people, feel like that's a pretty good number. You're underestimating. You're underestimating. <laughs> You're underestimating. You're underestimating. Why am I saying that so oddly? In one corner of the room is a pile of rubble, mainly stones and dust, but there are also two odd-shaped pieces of wood and a length of rope. A door in the north wall leads on. Examine the bits of wood, study the length of the rope. 
absolutely study the rope. You pick up the rope, it looks normal. In fact, it looks as if it might be quite useful. You open up your pack to put it in. Suddenly, it comes alive in your fingers. A snakes quickly up your arm and attempts to wrap itself around your neck. You need to act fast to get it off. Oh, it's a fucking snake rope. Here we go. What do I need? Seven? Less than seven. Less than seven. No, that's seven! Ooh, that's good. That's good, that's good, that's good. That is seven. That's exactly seven. You cut the rope with your weapon. As the rope tightens around you, you squirm and struggle to reach for your weapon quickly. But carefully, you slice the rope and it falls to the ground, still twitching as though alive. The enchanted rope is finally disposed of. I wasn't expecting to fight a piece of rope in my training. This guy needs to shut the hell up. This guy, this guy's annoying. <laughs> All he cares about is his KD and how his training is going. Sit. The, pa <laughs> the passage leads you northwards. The rocky floor becomes sandy until eventually you're walking on coarse sand. You notice the passage is widening and ahead you can hear a flowing river. Wasn't I just here? You continue until you find yourself in a large cavern through which a river flows. Didn't I already do this shit? You're on the south bank of an underground river facing across its black depths. There appears to be four ways of crossing. Ferry service, two gold pieces. The boatman. This is the boatman. Okay. To your left there is a rusted bell with a sign which you cannot read. <laughs> Thankfully, thankfully, in the image, I can read it. I can read that shit right there. My character might be illiterate, but because there's artwork in the game, fairy service, two gold pieces. Please, what does that say? Please ring? There's also a small raft in front of you on the bank with a long stick resting beside it, which you could use to put across the river, okay. Rickety old bridge also crosses the water to your right. It winds its way into the darkness of the cavern. You have a very strong feeling that you must be further upriver from the section you fell into earlier, from the crumbling bridge. You have no desire to return to the icy depths. No, oh, that wild-haired old man that I freed earlier advised me to pay my respects to the boatman. I wonder if he meant this very surface. Say how he can't even read. You can't read this. To your left, there is a rusted bell with a sign which you cannot read. Oh, this ferry service here. Sure, I can't. Well, maybe I should respect this guy. <laughs> he wouldn't know that. He can't read. Uh, I'm gonna ring the bell. R ring the bell. The bell. <laughs> yeah, it's the air serpent. The bell gives you a dull clang, and after a few moments, out of the darkness, you see a withered old man rowing a small boat. He rows slowly across to you moors the boat and limps towards you. You wonder if this is the boatman that the wild-haired prisoner you released earlier talked about. <laughs> Speak to the ferryman. The ferryman asks you for three gold pieces. When you protest at the price, he mumbles some flimsy excuse about inflation. He begins to get angry at your pro I didn't protest. Give him the three gold pieces. You need to be respectful. He calms down, takes the gold, and rows you across the north bank. Minus three gold pieces. After mooring the boat, he ambles off down a passageway. Get off the boat. Didn't even give me a chance to be respectful to this guy. You are now standing on the north bank in the large underground cavern. The most striking thing is a massive structure to the north built into the cave wall itself. It emanates a feeling of dread as it looms over the riverbank. To the right of the huge structure is a smaller but still imposing building in a cave wall. Directly to the east is a wooden building near the bridge. Half-finished wooden boats lie nearby as though in progress. To the west is a small wooden shack, probably large enough to house the living quarters for a single person. All right, the shack is definitely his house. It has to be. Sit on the structure. You guys gonna be on this sit thing, huh? <laughs> you guys. Oh, God. Uh, I feel like that's disrespectful, right? To go into his house. 
Huge structures, smaller structures to the north. Investigate the wooden building. I don't know. Go pay respect to him? Sit on his face. Well, I don't think that's paying respect to him. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I'm gonna explore the shack. Even though who gives is disrespectful, probably, but I can, like, respect him. You walk across the, sh the shady riverbank leading to the nearby shack. There's a door leading into the shack, which seems to be unlocked. Go in. You're in a small, foul-smelling room. You notice two doors. One to the west and one behind you to the south. The furniture in the room is sparse and has been made mostly from bits of old boats. Bits. There appears to be nothing of value in the room. Uh-oh. An old man in ragged clothes is slumped asleep on a bench made from half a rowing boat, snoring loudly. Oh. <laughs> is this guy... <laughs> Alright, I feel like that's like me. I do that shit. This is me and Otto. We'll be watching like Full House on TV. And I will do this on my couch. Kind of like looks like me too. Same like hair and like dirty fucking chin, you know what I mean? I have a bathrobe like that too. This is just this is just me. Okay. Next to him is a vicious looking brown dog with red eyes and black teeth, which you have awoken, and that is now eyeing you suspiciously. A deep growl is coming from its throat. Oh, that prisoner I released mentioned about the keys to a boat. I was being guarded by a man and his dog. Could this be them? Bang on the door behind you to wake the old man. Leap across the room with your weapon drawn to cut down the dog. The old man's eyes open. He sees you and grabs for a half oar lying by his bench. You tell him you mean him no harm, but he remains on guard and eyes you cautiously. Although he looks harmless enough, his dog could be dangerous. The man's boots are undone. <laughs> Rush the dog with your weapon drawn. Ask the man questions about the mountain. Tell him his boots are undone. Am I going to do that your shoes are untied to this guy? Hey, your shoes are untied. And that gives me an opportunity to attack him. Tell him your shoes are untied. The old man thanks you and rather sheepishly ties up his boots. You explain that you mean no harm when he calms down, calling off his dog. <laughs> okay. Is that was it? That was the correct thing to do? Alright. This area is the only passageway through to the inner chambers. Some years ago, the river swelled after a particularly severe spring thaw and cut off supplies from the outside world. All the area's inhabitants starved to death. But the master, realizing he needed defenses against the outside world, put a curse on the area. The last remaining creatures became the undead, and now God the passageways through. He starts to inquire about you. Tell him that you are on a quest. Thank him for the chat and leave through the south door. Try to grab the keys and go for the nearest door. Uh, I am on a quest. When you begin talking, he becomes angry and bids you be gone. He'll have nothing to do with adventurers. His dog senses his anger and snarls. Stay and try to pacify him. As you attempt to calm him down, you only succeed in making him angrier. <laughs> Traitor! The old man shouts a command at the dog and it gets ready to attack. Fuck these two. The dog springs as you move. Its hideous black teeth are coming straight for your throat. Two meters from you, a blast of fire shoots from its mouth at your face. <laughs> what? It's a... Oh, God. I got a less than an eight. Four, five, six... Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. You dive out of the way just in time. Instinctively, you dive out of the way and avoid the jet of fire streaming towards you. You feel a blast of heat as you narrowly avoid the flames. Before the beast has a chance to react, 
you take it by surprise and attack it with every ounce of your strength. The creature gives an unearthly howl as you do so, then slumps to the ground. Oh, I didn't want to kill him. Its body crumbles to ash. The old man is furious at your killing his pet. You monster! Now you shall meet a real one! His eyes turn white with anger. He slowly rises from his seat, and as he stands, he appears to gain in size and stature. He's changing in front of your eyes. He sprouts hair on his face and forearms. His nose lengthens and becomes dog-like. His teeth are pointed. He is a werewolf, and he advances toward you. Fight the werewolf. Okay. Hello, Mr. Werewolf. I'd like for you to say hello to my fucking... Where is it? I know I have it. Where's my bow? Wait, what? How do I get out my... I, I have a silver arrow to shoot at this fucking guy. Where is it? Can I not get it? What the hell? Okay, well, whatever, fine. I have a silver sword. This guy's done. Let's just see what he does for moves. Okay, he d he does two attacks and dashes forward, so he hits, what, three squares? Right here, come on. Come on, right here. Yeah. He's gonna dash. He's probably gonna break the table. Let's move back this way. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, moving out of the way. And he's gonna move this way, get him. He's gonna move this way, get him. He's gonna move this way, get him. <sighs> ah, you little shit. He's gonna move this way, get him. He's gonna. Flashing. Eight and eight, come on. That's a good roll. I only did, I did two damage to him. I have a silver fucking sword. I feel like I should be doing way more damage. Got it. Can't read a battle, he is illiterate. He defeated the werewolf, he's dead. Maybe I do an- uh, yeah, that's true. Maybe I wouldn't do any damage without the Silver Sword, that's probably true. With a sigh of relief, you lean against the shack's wall, you've defeated the werewolf. Plus one luck. As you look around the room, there appears to be little of use. Although the bunch of keys looks interesting, including one in particular with a tag on it which you cannot read. Take the key. You take the key and put it in your pack. <laughs> the only other door nearby is one leading to what looks like a larder. Definitely go in there and steal all his fucking food. You open the door to find the werewolf's larder, a miscellaneous collection of bones and decaying meats. The smell is nauseating, although a jar of pickled eggs seems to offer fairly palatable food. Do you wish to take the pickled eggs? Yeah, of course. Eagerly, you take one of the pickled eggs and bite into it without a second. I didn't want to eat it! I didn't want to fucking eat it! I wanted to take it! You gag and spit it out in disgust. The eggs are just as vile as everything else in this horrid larder. Unfortunately, you've already swallowed some of the eggs. <laughs> I wanted to take the egg, not instantly consume the egg. And now I'm down to six luck. Nothing else of interest. Why would I do that? I didn't tell him to do that. All right, you open the door and leave the shack, finding yourself in the passage leading back to the riverbank. You return to the river. Thank you, Mr. Banana. Thank you, Mr. Banana, for the two months. Cerno. Thank you, Cerno. Wait, wait. Cerno. Have, weren't you subscribed for like... Like eight months or something before? Yeah, that's Chernobyl disaster. Chernobyl, like, I've seen you in the chat like a thousand times. Well, welcome back. Uh, Sergeant Killingston, thanks for two months. And then on the bit front, we had Lano with some bits. Vape Game Bill Clinton with five bucks. Did somebody say bits? 
Thank you, uh, thank you, Bill Clinton. Thank you, Taco, for the bits. Um, Mathy, thank you for the bits. You guys rock. Uh, I am gonna be right back. We're gonna do a tea break. First tea break of the evening. I'll be right back. So something that I think that would make this game really, really, really cool is there was like eight characters and like twelve characters or something. If each character had its own story going through here, or at least like the story changed based on the character you're playing, that would be pretty cool. But let's continue. We're outside the shack. All right, walk to the huge structure, head to the smaller structure. Uh, let's go to the... Let's... I mean, might as well explore everything. There's no sense not to. I don't know why I'm walking like a dickhead right now. You head towards the wooden building. The only means of an entry appears to be a solid-looking wooden door. There's a sign above the door, but you cannot read it. The door is firmly locked, but a small barred window allows you to look inside. You can see a number of skeletons working on a building... Working on building a boat of some sort. Wait. Hold on, there's just skeletons in there working on a boat. <laughs> I wish I knew what the hell it said. They move in a series of quick, jerky actions, rather insect-like. Do I go in here? I wish I knew what it said. <laughs> Don't do it. You use the key, try to break the door down. Ah. Uh, but what if they're... F no, they're definitely not friendly. They're moving around like insects. They're jerking their heads around like an old scary movie. They're jerking around. Why did they do that? was stupid. The key fits the lock and opens the door. This is clearly a large boathouse. Various boats in different stages of construction are lying around. Apart from the door behind you, there is another in the north wall. As you enter, the skeletons stop their work and crane their bony necks around to look at you. They pick up planks of wood and hammers and advance towards you. There are five of them. Talk to the skeletons, draw your weapon, smile nervously, talk to the skeletons. 
You decide to talk to the skeletons. Tell them you're their new boss and order them back to work. Tell them that you've come about buying a boat. Uh, I'm here to buy one of these things, guys. Calm down. I'm here to buy a boat. You decide to talk, I'm gonna buy a boat. Uh, excuse me, you volunteer. The skeletons stop their tracks. I'm after a boat. A boat? One of the skeletons turns to the others, gesturing with its thumb towards you. This one wants to buy one of our custom, bone-made, fancy, polished, exclusive boats. The other skeletons stare at you. You're unable to read their gas. <laughs> you can't read their face. You can't read their faces. You feel you should say something to convince them, but what? You should give me the boat for free. You'll get great exposure. <laughs> Certainly, I'm willing to pay. Yes, your boss told me I could get one here. <laughs> give me the boat for free. It'd be great exposure. That's that's death. That's bad. That's rude. No. You bought, certainly I'm willing to... How much money do I have? 27... <laughs> I have 27 gold. I hope that's enough for a boat. Uh. Yeah, your boss told me I could get one here. Yes, you say to the skeletons. Your master told me uh, I could get one here. The Soul Keeper said that. One of the skeletons turns to the others. You two, go and check. Two of the skeletons disappear through the north door, while the remaining three watch you with their makeshift weapons in their bony hands. The two skeletons who have just run off will soon return and expose your bluff. You must react quickly. I brought it down to three. Fuck him up. There's only three. Let's go. Fuck up these bony bastards. Uh, that guy's huge. Let's move over here. Hopefully you can't attack more than two squares. You can, can't you? Six, seven, eight, nine. Guarded. Huh? Oh, fuck. Okay, I think I have to hit him from, like, the other side, maybe? Um, I don't know. Yeah, he, I can't... I have to hit him when he's not looking. I'm cornering myself right now. I wonder if I can, like, blade storm through this. I'm gonna just do it. It's like seven... Oh, I got I actually got him. I actually got him with that. Get him again. Nice. All right. The king is dead. The king is dead. Right, I have way high. Dad, get that shit out of here. Six, seven, eight, nine. He's going that way. He's still going that. Way. No, I'm moving. I'm moving. He's gonna hit me. Right there. Sack of shit. He's gonna hit me again. Nope. His moron friend got in the way. What a fantastic turn of events. Eight. He will probably not move here. He's gonna move the other way, I would assume. Nope. He is gonna move there, I guess. Just barely won that somehow. Oh, that was dumb. Mm, this way. Hello. One more. <laughs> Twelve souls. You defeated the skeletons. You step over the bones on the floor to take a closer look at the boathouse. You pick up and study a few of the tools scattered around. Hammers, 
nails, chisels, and the like, but they appear very ordinary. You hear a banging sound coming from beyond the north door. I lost that? What? What? This is HP? What? <laughs> what? You hear a banging sound coming from beyond the north door and have time for one further search before you must react. Check the tools more carefully and look through the drawers and benches. The two skeletons are coming back. The tools look really ordinary. Look through the drawers. The drawers are full of nails, tacks, and miscellaneous bits and pieces. Yeah, there's, there's a bunch of fucking bits in there. There's a hundred bits in there. In one draw, you find a handful of gold pieces which you take. Five gold pieces. As you do, you begin to hear a noise from the north door. You head vastly before you are caught. Head to the smaller structure to the northeast. Well, but we're just going to be exploration or completionists here, guys. You follow the faint, sandy path leading to imposing building in the... Let me do that again. Let me do that again. You follow the faint, sandy path leading to imposing building in the cave... It's not... What? I'm going to do this one more time. One more fucking time. And hopefully I don't screw it up. You follow the faint, sandy path leading to imposing building in the cave wall. Okay, so it was not my fault. It's just, that's not, that's a weird sentence. While not as large as the building to the north, it is nonetheless magnificently grand. It towers above you, and you cannot help but wonder how on Titan the thing was built. What the fuck does that mean? At the top of the steps is a heavy stone door that seems very solid. Try to open the door. Ooh, we're inside of Count Dracula's castle! Hey, 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 bang, open the door. It grinds against the floor in protest. Entering, you find yourself in an opulently decorated room. You're overwhelmed by the sight of thousands upon thousands of bottles lining the shelves of the room. Fine car furniture is placed strategically about the chamber. Hello. Hello, lady. Hello, obviously fucking demon lady. With a giant, like, keyhole. And then that was... And that's in a spot that I just... Okay. Waiting for you inside is a tall woman wearing a long dark gown and a spiked crown. Welcome, Aaron Godspeed. I am Oriana, the Keeper of Souls. You don't know me, or maybe you do. I can never remember. But rest assured, your player does. Do not be alarmed, I am here to help you. <laughs> I am like just closing my eyes hard right now. What? Hold on. Your player does? Breaking the fourth wall? Already? No. Oh, God. My player knows her? What is that supposed to mean? Ask about the domain of the dead. Purchase something from the Soul Keeper. Sell something to the Soul Keeper. Acquire about the Warlock's treasure. Bid the Soul Keeper goodbye. Not my immersion. <laughs> Um, I have souls, right? Can I buy something from her? Purchase something from the soul. Oh. My god. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Meep Sauce, for the sub. Jeremy, you make more in a stream than I do in two weeks. Here's my lunch money for tomorrow so you'll like me. Lord of the Fatties, thank you for the one dollar. You don't have to give me money for me to like you. I like all 17,470 people in here, okay? You guys are fucking all great. You don't have to pay me money for me to know that. Come on, man. All right, yeah, you ask so people if she has anything for sales, she gives you an unsettling smile. Give me some gold and I will give you some gifts. You have expensive shit, lady. 50 gold pieces, 150 gold for one of those stones. For a maze jumper for 175. <laughs> what? There's fucking. There's 17,470 people in here. Come on, I'm on the top of Twitch! I'm on the top of Twitch TV, man! There's like Kriparian. 
Me. Like, Summit 1G. Me again, on another channel, being restreamed. <laughs> See, I know, like, popular stream names. Come on. Potion of skill U. I can use it here. Why can't I use it here? Uh, all right, I don't, I don't, I guess I'll buy some provisions. Why not? How much, how many, how many provisions? How many did it give? I did. did it give me one provision for 25 gold? Why the, I want my money back. Can I, can I kill her? You're the bomb, Jeremy. Well, thank you, C. Clay, for now two months. Thanks a lot, dude. And thank you, Falgazor, for the 510 bits. I'm back for some more high-octane gameplay. Thank you, Falgazor, for the five bucks. Appreciate it, dude. Magpie, for thanks for the bits. Lord of the Fatties, again, thank you for the bits. Lano589, thank you for the bits. You guys are fucking awesome. Well, all right, uh, whatever. There's nothing to talk about something else. Um, sell something to the Soul Keeper. Let's see what I can sell. Yeah. After you ask the Soul Keeper if she wants to buy anything from you, she gives you an unsettling smile. Show me what you have and I'll offer you a price. The silver crucifix is only five gold pieces. I'm assuming Potion of Skill is just going to give me ten. Or maybe nine out of ten. No, I... Feel like I'll probably want that. No, fuck you. Uh, ask about, uh, inquire about the warlock's treasure. That's what we're down here for, right? Yeah, remember to remember to use hashtag charity if you're gonna give bits. Cause there, it, I like for instance, if you if you cheer, five hundred bits, and you add hashtag charity, I think I still get the five hundred bits, but they also give like twenty percent to charity. Make sure you do that. It's for Doctors Without Borders. Okay, uh, excellent. That concludes business. Okay. Zagor is rumored to have a hoard of treasure. Do you know anything about it? You ask Oriana. She raises an eyebrow. I wish I could fucking talk. Then she answers you. Ah, yes, of course. The warlock guards his treasure well. It is kept under lock and key within a magical treasure chest. He never keeps the three keys with him. Instead, choosing to cast a spell on them. Each key is securely guarded and changes position within the mountain each time someone enters. The more keys used to open the chest, the greater the reward within. I get it. I have two keys. The more keys you get. Okay, I got. I need another key. I need more keys. Alright. Uh, what about the Domain of the Dead? What can you tell me about the Domain of the Dead? You ask the Soul Keeper. She pauses for a moment, but her face remains expressionless and without emotion. A place cursed by Zagor, yeah. ready to provide an army of restless souls, each of which will endlessly guard his inner sanctum. I find it to be a useful location to be near, considering my line of work. <laughs> However, yeah. I'm not without my own protection. Many so-called heroes have become nothing more than tortured spirits to guard the Warlock's treasure. I would advise you be prepared. Thank you, bye. You bid the Soul Keeper goodbye, her presence makes you somewhat uneasy and you are eager to leave. Goodbye, Aaron Godspeed. I know we shall meet again. If not during this adventure, then the next time that the guy playing the game decides to play again. Wink. <laughs> not understanding what she means, you leave her large structure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. However, yeah. Thank you, Uncleaner Pizza, for the sub, and Psycho Wraith. Thanks. And we Tit Trainer, we Fit Trainer. Huge structure in the north. Is this his castle or something? Am I here? You walk along the sand of the massive structure. A set of stone steps leaps upwards into the structure itself. Near the steps, a path leads west to a tower leading upwards on the side of the main structure. I could go up there, or I could go straight ahead. Straight on. You follow the steps leading up into the looming building. Looking upwards, you occasionally see golden glints on the ceiling. 
You wonder if there is a gold vein running through the ceiling of the cavern. The golden glints begin to disappear, followed by a high-pitched shrieking and the heavy sound of leathery wings. Aha! Time to test my bat-fighting skills! <laughs> The giant bats come down and you fight them. Ah, there they are. I knew I could see them from here. <laughs> okay, well, you're right next to me, so I'm going to blade storm here. I thought you would have made it. Yeah, you know. Come on, come on, give it to me. I can't do it yet. Fuck me. With a fucking hot, hot knife. <laughs> ah, I got snake eyes. Do it. Oh. God, I suck. Got that one. Come on! PG-13 streamer. I was gonna say brand me or something, but you know that came out that came out way worse. Fuck her, come here. Stop going away from me. Come on, man. Well, he's stuck. He's stuck here. Lost it too. Yeah. Let me break. Come on. Come on. Ah ha ha! You're making me so angry, bat. This stupid giant bat is seriously. What I say before that awful thing that I said about like uh, stabbing me. Get it fucking right. Oh my god. God. Forget me! Let's, let's like, let's redact that. Forget me with that gosh darn nonsense. You know what I mean? Forget me with that gosh darn nonsense. With the giant bat slain, you cautiously continue up the stairs. Thankfully, there are more creatures lurking in the darkness and you reach the top safely. <laughs> it's too late. Surrounding you is an eerie graveyard. There are gravestones littered about and trees made from stone cast ominous shadows across the ground. Nearby, there is a bench where you may rest. A skull leers at you from an archway. It appears to be the entrance to a crumbling bridge of stairs that traverses a large pit, glowing with an ethereal blue light. Wanting the internet to forget. No, I... I, it's, 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 I just yelled out like a couple of expletives. It's alright, it doesn't matter. The feeling of death and decay surrounds you, and you sense that this place is one of an arcane, ancient evil. Explore the graveyard. Sit down on the bench. Well, yeah, I'm gonna sit on the bench. That's a checkpoint. Wait, what? 
Sit, sit. I am going to sit. Yeah, sit, sit, sit. Plus five stamina. I didn't want to eat because I only have one left. And Eight out of nine. Should I just drink this? Yeah. Fuck it. All right. Now, I'm not going to say any more swears, okay? How does that sound? We had our, like, heinous swear. We're going to, like, now we're not going to say any more swears. Promise. Explore the graveyard. <laughs> with the giant flats lazily, you, you cautiously continue up the stairs. Thankfully, there are no more creatures lurking in the darkness. Yeah, right. Don't lie to me, game. And you reach the top safely. Surrounding you is an eerie graveyard. There are gravestones littered about, and trees made from stone cast ominous shadow. Didn't I just read this? There's a bench. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The feeling of death and decay surrounds you, and you sense that this place is one of an arcane ancient evil. Yeah, we already saw this. Explore the graveyard. You hunt around the gravestones and behind the stone trees. Six luck. This is not good. Wait, what? There is nothing of interest in this area, because you rolled two sixes. Crap. Crap. Climb the stairs. You begin to cross the vast dark void using the ominous bridge. Swirling around you below, in the depths of the void, are the trapped souls of the dead. The souls begin to rise before bursting suddenly forth from the void, encompassing the bridge. Their wails fill your ears and you look on, in horror, as some of the shapes materialize in front of you. You have disturbed- Ah, hold on, I can do better than that. <clears throat> I was just about to say, I swear. Good thing I didn't. <laughs> you have disturbed our rest. Now you must join us in our eternal slumber. That was way, that was the worst one all stream. Can I even hurt these guys? I'm not even sure I can hurt these people. Okay, they swing in two, they can swing in two directions. Come on, move. Weakened. Weakened deals one less damage for the next two rounds. Crap. <laughs> oh, crap. Give me a good roll here. Nice. Can't do the twin strike. I am I'm in bad shape right now. I, I thought he might have. Not good. This is not good. What a move! What a move that was! What a move! Woo! I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. Ah! Ah! Right here.
Alright, I can't screw that up again. Explore the graveyard. Give me a roll. Give me a good roll. It's less than six. Not exactly six. Yeah, no, I wanted exactly six. I wanted exactly six. I found something. Tucked behind one of the gravestones is a red flask. You found a potion of strength. Pleased with your find, you once again stand before the leering skull. Wait, 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 wait. I need. I'm gonna drink this stuff. Potion of skill. Provision. Potion. Uh, potion of strength. Should I drink it right now? What does that do? What's it gonna do for me? Resurrect in town. No, I got these stones, man. I'm, I'm, I'm in the. I'm almost at almost the castle. What is that going to do for me? Don't do it, why not? It's going to give me strength, right? Shots? It's poison? It's not it's poison or strength, it's not poison. Plus one? I'm just going to do it. Drink it. What did it do? Did I get like plus one strength or something? Sit, like, what, what did, it, did that just... God, I, I think I know what just happened. Strength just is stamina. Let's go, ghost. I'm not gonna screw around right now. No more messing around. Don't get cornered. Attack. Bang. Got him. Bang. No, we're gonna move. Move. They can hit in so many directions. It is such horse. If you, if there was a webcam right now, you would see me shaking violently. They can hit in so many directions. This guy has to die. He has to die right now. Why would you? There's no. Come on. Okay, this is this is this is insane. Uh, where am I supposed to go? They'll hit me every single place. I think. I <laughs> if I'm okay, if I move here, he's gonna hit me. If I move here, he's gonna hit me. If I move there, he's gonna hit me. I'm dead again. There's nowhere for me to move. There's nowhere safe. I'm dead. There's nowhere to go. I know they only hit diagonally, but if I move twice, like for instance, right here, I'm dead. I'm dead. Game over. They do an absolute sh God. Resurrect me again. I think the game crashed. I have to like go up to the top left. We're getting that potion of strength again. Got it. Use your tiny brain. Wait, what? I just have to move in the right direction the first time. Alright, let's go. Let's go, ghosts. Here we go. Okay. So. Let me think about this for a second. They are going to close in on me. I can't move over here. So if he comes in this way, this guy's going to come in this way first. I'm not doing very much damage to them either. That's the worst part. Throw the tooth goblin. Wasted it again? I don't give a rat's behind at this point. I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna go up again. So 
he is he gonna move though? I don't know. It's possible that he will move up here. It's unfair that they can move over here. Come on. And he's in a position where he's gonna hit here. He's gonna hit here. I'm okay right here. Thought he was gonna move. Okay, now I gotta move over here. No. Nope. He goes bang bang. He goes. Wait, he can hit what? me here. He's gonna swing here. What if I. I don't have a blade storm. Pray to the whale. <laughs> they hit so. They hit so hard. Twin strike. I gotta turn this way. There we go. There we go. Alright, you can't hit me here. But are you gonna move? You're gonna move right here. You're dead. I have to move up here now. Are you gonna stay there? Probably not. No, he is. Good. Shit, that's not good. I gotta move. Oh, I can move over here. Oh, that was all right. Well, I'm dumb. Bang, bang. I gotta move this way. Actually, I, can I clash with him? No, he's just gonna run. You gotta give me a better roll than that. Thank you. Damn it. I thought he was gonna. That's not a swear. That's not a swear. That's not a swear. That doesn't count as a swear. <laughs> no, that's not a swear. That's not a swear. <laughs> I beat the ghosts. I win. They can only attack. I know they can only attack diagonally. There's smoke coming out of Derma's ears right now. No, I'm fine. Three square. No, there was not three squares since I said I wouldn't. I said darn it. The ghost slowly sink back into the depths of this swirling void. One of them remains and addresses you. You have proven your worth, Aaron Godspeed of Fang. Enter the domain of the dead at your peril. The lord of the undead will not be as kind as we would have been. A spirit knows my name. How is this possible? The last spirit sinks through the floor and joins the others back in the gloom below. Climb the bridge. A tall, carved archway looms ahead of you. To either side and above, rows of black windows face the gloom of the cavern. Out of the corner of your eye, you see faces staring at you from the darkness, only to then disappear when you turn to face them. Big Boo. Bravely, you step through the imposing entrance and make your way inside. Enter the domain of the dead. Ghost burp. <laughs> you reach the end of the path. A strange stone pillar decorated with monstrous bones supports the room. There are paths leading to the left and right, and a wooden ladder to the left of the stone pillar leads upwards. Is 
This is uh, kind of awkward. Scary eyes. Enemies in plain sight. We're going up. Climb the ladder. Look at this room. I hope I don't end up in this room. You climb the ladder, which leads to a trap door. You give it a heave, clamber through, then hear it slam down behind you. The room is about eight meters square, with another ladder on the far wall. Standing motionless in the center of the room are four men. At least they appear to be men. Their skin is a greeny-gray color. Their clothes are tattered and torn, and they are all staring vacantly at the ceiling. One carries a club, one a scythe, one an axe, and one a pick. They're ignoring you completely. More fodder for my training. Every good dungeon has a zombie or two. This is definitely creepy. This is like the Adams family. Around the room are various peasant style weapons, such as pitchforks, axe handles, and pointed sticks. Several barrels are scattered around the room, and there is another ladder in the far corner. In the northeast corner is a human corpse with a sword in one hand and a shield in the other. The strange creatures in the center of the room have stopped looking vacantly and are now focusing on you. Try to talk to them, charge them with the weapon, or run towards the other ladder. It's a lot of options for potions of invisibility. Their vocabulary is limited to a series of moans and groans. They appear not to be intelligent at all. Furthermore, your conversation merely serves to attract their attention to you. They grip their weapons and it looks as though you will have to fight them. However, there is a slim chance that you could scramble back to the trapdoor. Four men stir into action and shamble towards you, their weapons ready. You start to scramble back to the trapdoor, but you do not know if you can make it. Your foot slips on a loose pebble and you fall to the ground. Before you can regain your footing, the creatures are upon you. Prepare for combat. The zombies shuffle towards you slowly but relentlessly. Their vacant eye suggests that their actions are controlled by a will which is not their own. You must act quickly. The first zombie reaches you and prepares to swing his club. Tripped on a pebble. <laughs> Great. More patterns to have to see and memorize. <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die here, guys. I don't... Okay, he, swing, he swings forward. They probably have different animations and different actions. It's not... I need to hit them so many times. Weapon. It's supposed to be silver weapon. Nine and seven. Come on. Feel like he's coming down, he's going that way. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do Twin Strike here. Yep. <laughs> Clashing with who? <laughs> That's alright. He moved out of the way. Okay. Clashing again. I don't want that. No! Ah! It's okay, I want He's going to run away. Just attack right here. No, I thought he was going to move into that spot. On, move into the spot right here, man. Oh boy. Okay. I'm in trouble. Blade storm. Come on, give me a blade storm here. Well, I'm moving over here because I don't want to take. I'll take one hit, not two.
turn this way. There we go. No, I'll get one. Which way are you going? You're gonna come down. Okay. Well, one of you is gonna make it over here. No, you're gonna. You're just lining up. Which one of you is gonna come up? Just come down here so I can kill you. Thank you very much. Do it again. Walk right there. Thank you. Now all I gotta do is just no. Don't just move. Eventually, I'll, I'll end up getting this guy. He's gonna move that way. You coward! Come fight me! Come fight me! Thought he was gonna turn and fight me again. You know what? Let's go. Clash. Let the dice decide our fate. No, 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 it can. Losing to zombies? I didn't lose to zombies. I just got 700,000 souls. The poor wretches lying dead at your feet almost look happy to be relieved of their burden of life. But as you look down at them, you sense that you are not the only one to know of their deaths. I still got my luck back. Investigate the weapons lying around. Go over to the dead body in the northeast corner or check the barrels. Thank you, Magpie, for the five bucks. Give me a funny joke name for a funny joke character. Um. Well, I don't know. The, I need to know the context. Funny joke name for a joke character. Well, what? Where is this guy? Where's this? What, what, what setting is it? Is it? Is it fantasy? Is it uh, dark? Are we in the future? Is it robots? I don't know. But thank you for the five bucks. Check the trash. <laughs> uh, but thank you, Magpie. That's generous of you, dude. Thank you, GrowDiv, for the bits as well. Magpie twice. Magpie like three times, actually. Thank you, Magpie. Uh, Stortles, thank you for the bits. Never trust purple. Ham Solo. Good old Ham Solo. Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, Silvon for eight months. Stortles with three months. Three months of swears. Reptilian God, thank you for two months. Uh, thank you, Chinese Immigrant, for two months. Lolanator, thank you for ten months in a row. Pavler, Uncleaner Pizza, and Psycho Raid. think I got those two, but Pavler, thank you for the sub. Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, I, I want another weapon. This thing sucks. That's not a swear, by the way. Names are 1,500 bits only. No, the actually, actually, Star. Um, Ham Solo was 40 bits. So, uh... Get, get F-U-C-K-E-D'd. I'm gonna investigate the weapons. I feel like I want one. You find nothing remarkable about the weapons. In fact, not a single weapon looks more useful than your own. Great. As you search the debris... You hear a deep thumping from the north, followed by a scream, which then shivers down your spine. Okay, get on, climb the ladder. Into the corkscrew room. That doesn't count. What? What swear? What are you, what swear are you? Fuck, shit, dick. Fucking asshole, fuck. <laughs> You're in a large circular chamber. The most striking feature here is a large stone bowl that is filled with a dark, rich red liquid which is bubbling vigorously. Aside from this mysterious looking pool, there is also a spiral staircase set behind the pool and two doorways opposite each other. Filthy. I'm suddenly so very thirsty. This place is playing tricks on my mind. What will you do now? Drink from the pool! Shit, that probably was a bad idea. 
You dip one of your hands in the sticky, warm liquid and raise it to your lips. As you do, you realize that you're holding a handful of blood. Nonetheless, you decide to take a drink. <laughs> you gag as the vile liquid goes down your throat and fall to your knees. Your head spins and nausea overwhelms you. Your foolish actions have damned you with a blood curse. You do not know what effects it will have, but you suspect that you shall soon find out. Positively that quaff an interesting drink. What does that mean? Blood curse? <laughs> what does that mean? Blood curse. It's just here. Am I still illiterate? What if it like cured in my illiteracy? Well, whatever. If I got a blood curse, head north. Fill your chalice. Why would I want to fill a chalice? Alright, let's go. Go up the scary staircase. You climb the stairs and find yourself in a dark crypt of some kind. At one end is an altar, and various coffins are strewn about the room. Watch out for one of the coffins where a scary skeleton's gonna come out and bite your nose off. There's an opening in the wall through to another room on your left. This looks like a pretty tame room. I don't know if I want to do coffin roulette right now. What do you guys think? Coffin roulette, or leave and go up here, and continue to go up the castle. Coffin roulette? I think so. Yeah, let's do it. The silence is deathly. A slow drip startles you as you creep around the coffins. The altar is ornately carved and studded with jewels. Beautifully woven drapes hang from the walls, although they are threadbare in places. There are three coffins in the room. Light from your lantern falls on the largest coffin, which is open. You can hear a very gentle snoring coming from the open coffin. It seems that someone or something is sleeping inside. I should wake this creature. It will make good practice. These internal monologues have seriously not added a god dang thing. He keeps just saying like, oh, I need practice for my trial. What do you do? Boldly stride towards the coffin, walk quietly towards the coffin, leave through the opening. Boldly stride where no man has gone before. As you approach the coffin, a tall man with a white face sits upright. His eyes open and fall on you. His expression changes from one of tranquility to one of abject hate. His mouth opens and a terrifying hiss comes from his throat. His teeth are wolf-like. You feel his eyes burn into you with considerable power and begin to weaken under his gaze. Ow. You are gradually losing your own will. Oh, God. Draw your weapon and fight. Reach into your bag of tricks. What can I do? Silver crucifix. The creature you are facing is a vampire. Your weapon will do little real damage. A crucifix will hold him at bay, but will not kill him. Bury this into his chest. Thinking quickly, you pull out the silver crucifix and thrust it out in front of you. The vampire hisses in pain and covers its face with its arms. It flinches as you bring it closer. Taking advantage of the vampire's weakness, you keep the crucifix pointed at the vampire and slowly back away to the other side of the room. Dash through the opening. Good thing we picked up that crucifix. Take the stairs leading down. Follow the staircase up. I see. Hold on. Give me, like, I'm going to eat a provision. I feel like, look at this, like a weird portal up here. This is, this could get dangerous. I'm going up. Wait, there's like a treasure room down here. Go down. Into another coffin. It's okay, I have a, I have a crucifix. I still have that crucifix up, okay. You enter an ornate tomb with a large, ominous stone sarcophagus lying to one side. At the far wall is a tall black mirror, standing between two unlit braziers. You cautiously approach the sarcophagus and carefully trace your fingers over the carvings on the lid. You cannot read. 
the carved inscription. You feel a cold breath on the back of your neck and wheel around in surprise. The sight before you was horrifying. It is of a translucent floating figure of what once may have been a man. Half of his face is decayed, exposing what would be flesh and bone if he were amongst the living. He is dressed in regal flowing robes, torn from battle, blood, and age. You are either brave or foolish to be here. This is my tomb. I am Kerlikasagor. Sensing your reaction, he continues, Fear not, adventurer. I am not here to harm you. I am more concerned with my son ruining the family name. The despicable deeds he has performed shame me, and I cannot rest. He gestures to the black mirror and a piece of ghostly flesh finally detaches and falls to the floor with a splat as he does so. I doubt you are here to meet with my son for tea. If you wish to defeat him, light the blazes on either side of the mirror. <laughs> Fuck, I don't... This is the guy that I was supposed to come... Wasn't this the bad guy? Wasn't it Zagor? Wasn't that like the, the mage? Wasn't that the warlock of the mountain? If I light... Okay, if I light these, he's probably gonna come alive. Oh, that Zagor now, like, Zagor confirmed for the next stream rumble. <laughs> Zagor versus the Archmage. I don't want to light it up. I, I don't have any more resurrection stones. I'm going to be dead. That's the dad guy? Yeah, this is the... Wait a minute. I thought this is... Light. That was probably such a bad move. I'm approaching the mirror, you take a torch and light one of the braziers... Gerlicus is thrilled. Yes, yes, exactly like that. Now for the other one. You light the other brazier and drop the torch in surprise due to a horrible shrieking. The mirror ripples and distorts and Gerlicus's booming laugh echoes around the tomb. <laughs> Fool, you shall have the power you desire. Enjoy the reunion with my son's demonic mother. You'll have plenty of time to reflect on your mistake. As the ghost has been mocking you, a horrific creature has emerged from the mirror. Ah, his four faces atop its gruesome head, each of them producing a piercing wail. It's a wild gray hair whips around from an ethereal wind. As it approaches, it reaches out with its arms, attempting to grab you. This is Zagor's unholy mother, a mirror demon. Eager to grab you and drag you through the mirror back to the demonic plane into certain doom. Fight the fucking mirror demon. I'm, I'm dead here. It's over. Right after that, we're doing fucking blade storm right now. Come on. 10! 10! 10! Hold on. Dead. Dead? Dead. 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 Killed her. Dead. Ah! Wah! 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 Okay, the, 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 the easy is shh. They go in one, two, three. Duh! One, two, three. That won't hit me if she has to be right here. Oh my god. No! I did it wrong. I had it wrong. I had it wrong. It's... it's... Oh, that's such an odd pattern. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. It's one, two, three, right? That's a, that was so weird. Hold on. Let me see this. No, it's one, two, what? Do they have two different attacks or was that her attack coming through? I think it's the same as mine. She's gonna walk forward. She's gonna walk forward. I think I'm safe right here. No, I'm not safe anymore. All right, you see what I'm talking about? What the fuck was that? That was like he. Like it was her. I thought she had to move first. I'm so dead. I can't even attack for two turns. You 
Okay, like, that's two different things going on here. Because that was one, two, three. She was just doing one, two, three. This is fucking awful. I need to go, like, down here. Yeah, they're like shooting shit. I think that's gonna hit me. We're gonna crash here. Come on. Come on! Come on! Come on, you bag of shit. One, two, three. You're not gonna hit me there. Move. I'm a I ain't going anywhere. You're gonna, you, you're gonna move to there or you're gonna go one, two, three. Let me think. Let me think this through. She, she, if she stands here and she turns this, she's gonna be facing this way. It'll be one, two, three. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go over here. Please, please. What did I do it? <laughs> I lost by one point! One point. That's, that is, that is pissing me off. Just gonna go here, here, and here. Ay, ay, ay. I, I'm like scared to move over here because if that's one, two, three, it, she'll hit me right here. I'm going over here, screw this. So that means one, two, three, one, two, three. Move forward. Come on. Do me a solid. Huh? 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 Wait, what? Huh? One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. With a mighty blow, you finish off the mirror demon. Its shrieking suddenly stops. Only to play, you know, she was screaming about some stuff. You watch on as cracks dart across its body, speeding across its multiple faces and limbs. There's a twisted, anguished cry from the creature and the demon shatters into tiny fragments which scatter across the tomb. Yeah. Okay, cool. Girlkus is furious. No, no, that can't be how it happened. It shall not end here. Although I am bound to my place of rest, you shall not survive this place. The domain of the dead will be your tomb. My son shall see to that. The ghost flies at you in a furious rage, and you instinctively put up your hands to protect yourself. There's a sudden bitter chill, and then nothing. Gherkin has vanished. Minus one skill. You decide to return back to the junction before you meet any more of Zagor's crazed relatives. Yeah. Leave the tomb. <laughs> he shuffles papers. Leaving the tomb, you return to the... Leaving the tomb, you return to the return to the... <laughs> Yeah, leaving the tomb, you return to the return to the return to the spiral staircase. This time, you decide to continue up. Well, isn't that special? Do I have any provisions? I don't have anything. I have four stamina, and I have nothing. I have two short swords. Bottle of unknown liquid. I wish I could drink it. As you climb the last steps, you are dwarfed by a dark shrine to the first Lord of Chaos, Death himself. The grim, imposing statue is holding a large bowl that represents the entire universe held in his grasp. It looks as though he is demanding a sacrifice. This is an imposing statue of Death. 
I've never seen him depicted like this before. Pour blood in the statue's bowl. Well, that probably would have been good. Continue through the opening in the wall. Here we go. This is probably like, I'm probably at the end of the game. I mean, you have to assume that the giant's rotating arcane sphere is like the last room of the game. Because I think you're supposed to play through this game a bunch of times. And like lose. Buy more people and lose and buy more people and come up the stairs and do it a different way and then win. I don't know. I'm Whatever it is, I'm going to die to it. We took a huge shortcut. We fell like in the water and came in through some guy's house. All right. Uh, I, I'm gonna go this way first. This is like some living quarters. There might be like a piece of cheese in here. Look at that cheese. Right there. Right there. I told you there was gonna be cheese in here. You enter another chamber. This one seems rather plain. Suddenly there's a spark followed by an intense pillar of fire. It burns brighter and brighter, emitting an intense howl from deep inside it. The flames begin to dissipate and standing in their place is a terrifying hellhound. Come on. I'm gonna lose. This is it. Yeah, it's a f fight the hellhound. Great. I'm dead. I'm gonna get hit one time and die. I don't know what his pattern is. You need to memorize the patterns and then die and then come back. I'm gonna just go over here. Okay. Well, I, what? Where was that? Where the hell was that? That was like three spaces. F I don't even know. I don't know. Um, I didn't even see where they landed. I saw the one landed right here. Uh, do I die? I might have to just dive up here. No, I can't. I'm gonna get hit by this and I'm gonna die. Watch this, I'm dead. Nope, he decided to do a different move. Okay. Where are they going to land? I don't know. Am I safe here? I can't. I can't hit the... I can't, the brazier can't be attacked. Please walk forward. Ow! I'm burning! Ow! Ow! <laughs> so it's one, two, three... Ah. I'm dead. Game over. It was fun while it lasted. Is he gonna move now? What? Come on, walk forward! <laughs> Game over. Game over. He has like a spreading fucking fire move. Please die to this before you know how to not die from it. Main menu, it's fucking over. Great. Warlock on fire, Top Mountain, Steve Jackson and Ian Livingston. No, no, what? How do I, back to, I want to buy a new character. Don't I have like 200 souls? Goddamn cheese trap. All right, if I do this, I'm kind of scared about this. I can't really do anything else. Hey, let's actually have a literate character. That would be great. Hopefully this doesn't, like, save over something. Because there's no, there's no continue. There's new game options, extra credits, quit. didn't save. I mean, I, there was no option. It was just go to the main menu. No more revives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome back! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me select my hero. Yeah, 181 souls. There we go. Okay. New group. How much is the Tyrannosaurus Rex? 450 souls? So you, you have to, like, die like fucking five times what about the okay the cleric 350 the guy with the mm, okay who's the this is the only guy i can afford are you kidding me the guy with the eagle 
The guy with the ham bone. Wanushu is the only guy I can buy. Or my 400, 550, 500. Wow, I can only afford one of these guys. What about like the Kickstarter ones? No. You need more souls than that. Now, what's the difference between this guy? Okay, 1999. Is this guy illiterate? Dexterous. Has great speed, agility, and precision. And he's fearsome. 1999. What about the other ones? Let's see. 17. I don't like that. 17. What are the skills? Keen eye. Notice things that would normally be unseen or ignored. Dexterous and keen eye. Great speed. Just save the souls. Educated. Has an above average level of education. Favors. Fortune favors you often. I actually kind of like that. Or the illiterate guy. I'm going to try this one. E educated and lucky. 10 luck. I mean, 10 skill. That's like the highest out of a... Uh, all the default characters, isn't it? Yeah. Should have picked her in the very beginning. What about this guy? Why did I not play as this girl? She's got 10 skill, and she's, like, educated and lucky. What are her attacks? Strikes two spaces. And this one... Okay, that's unbelievable. You can throw out a quick jab before the person moves. I'm gonna pick her. Forget about the other guy. How much? What do I need for the rhino? Let me just see. Just curious. Or well, the rhino or this weird monk guy? What is this guy? Yeah. Educated and righteous. Evil must be where the forces of good. I mean, I'm almost halfway there. I'm more than halfway there, aren't I? Cowboy. Keen eye and lucky. At least he can read. At least, yeah, she, this one can read. I'm just gonna go with her. We'll just try it. Select. Uh, travel to Firetop Mom. So, I think it's the same game, right? Like, you're supposed to play through it multiple times or something? But thank you, Magpie, for the bits. Magpie. The joke character is a witch. She still needs that joke name. Um, okay, the joke character is a witch. How about, uh, about Esmeralda? Or, uh, Gwen. Gwen. Come on, Gwen. 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 G-W-Y-N. No. No, not like the dark. Like Gwen. Gwen. Come on, Gwen. Um, Glenda. Glendolyn. Glendolyn. Yeah, I'll, I'll write it up for you. Glendolyn. Glendolyn. But thank you. Oh, never chose purple. Thank you five, five bucks. Hope the box of snakes actually says box of snakes on it. But you're just too stupid to read the label. <laughs> That'd be funny. Wait, what? <laughs> but thanks, purple, for the five bucks. Much appreciated, dude. And thank you to the mightiest of beards for the hundred bits. Thanks, guys. Subs. We had Ad Nova for three months. Hello, friend. I ate a bottle of wine. Well, hope it was good. Uh, Kraken's Bane, YOLO Antagonist, General Red Panda 3, thank you for the new subs, and then Jake X Llama, thank you for 10 months. Happy holidays to you as well, Jake. And then 8 months, Sylvon. I've probably been saying your name wrong. Sylvan, thank you for 8 months. Much love. Let's try this again. The villagers of Anvil cheered with excitement as you begin your two day hike to Firetop Mountain. Cries of, return us to safety, Alexandra, and may the luck of the gods Wait, be with you, what? rang out. Your fame reaches even to remote towns like Anvil. Your mysterious patron, a sorcerer known to you only as Kith, wants you to seek a massive ruby known as the Eye of the Cyclops and give it to Zagor, the warlock who rules this mountain. When you asked Kith about the significance of the ruby, your sorcerer only smiled and said, Yeah, you'll see, bitch. And then you attacked him and called him a bad word. 
The citizens who live in the foothills of the mountain fear Zagor, and have been very reluctant to tell you anything that may help you find him. Fearing for their own safety, you have mixed feelings about the adventure ahead and just hope that Kith's instructions are honorable and you do not let the local people down. One thing is clear though, you will not be dealing with any ordinary wielder of magic. You must be on your guard. It takes you two days to reach the menacing looking mountain with the sharp rocky crags that jut out at unnatural angles. At the top you can see the eerie red coloring, probably some savage vegetation which has given the mountain its name. You approach a cave, a known entrance used by a local band of orcs, your hand gripping the hilt of your longsword as you consider what dangers may lie ahead. Your adventure starts here, into the cave that you saw like four hours ago. Yep, yep, yep. All right. So let's step into the. Okay, this is like this is a different monologue. <clears throat> With the smell of orc up my nose, I have a feeling I'm going to meet some formidable foes. That ruby is in this mountain somewhere, so I'm going to have to ask politely. Using my sword, of course. <laughs> I ain't gonna keep that up, if you're curious. Fork in the road, let's go. Let's do, let's do our roguelike dungeon. All right, we went this way. Let's go this way. We didn't go over here last time. Sound of scurrying continues ahead of you as you, uh, well, as the sound of heavy footsteps. No, I, no I'm not gonna do it. Whatever is marching along the corridor can only be trouble. A few yards ahead of the limit of the light cast. I'm not doing that anymore. That's the last time you're going to hear it. A few yards ahead of the limit of the light cast by your lantern, you catch sight of a cleft in the tunnel wall. Duck inside the cleft to hide. Prepare to face what approaches. Prepare to face what approaches. Coming towards you along the passageway are two ugly green-skinned creatures. You have disturbed an orc patrol. <laughs> the last. <laughs> what? The last time I encountered orcs was in Darkwood. F that's boring. Hold on, I'll get a better one. The last. No. The last time. Nah, that's not gonna work. The last time. Nah. The last time I encountered orcs was. Uh, the last time I encountered orcs was in Darkwood Forest on that strange quest for Yastromozo. They are usually quite cowardly and easily to overturn. Fight them! <laughs> Drunk Irish woman. No, that's that's like I don't give a fuck voice. Alright, what are her attacks? She's got quick jab, which is you can... Now let me see here. Piercing attack, it's two in a row. Attack, yeah, right, 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 right. Let's just see what it goes like. Boink. Yeah. Piercing strike. Oh, you're gonna just move this way, go on. No, you're not gonna move, are you? No, one of you guys is moving this way, and it's you, and you're dead. It's gonna be you again, aren't you? Yeah, you're dead. What do you say we do with that one more time? Ash, 10 to 5. I should win this. Yep. You defeated the orcs. A quick search of the orcs' bodies turns up a handful of gold pieces, a crude bone charm, and a half eaten rat on a stick. Take the orcs' bone charm. Well, going this way was way better. Five gold and a charm. You pocket the bone charm, trying not to retch as you get close to the orc's stinking corpse. Perhaps it'll be useful later. Cautiously, you make your way further down the dank tunnel. We're gonna keep doing that way. Keep going. The passageway soon comes to an end at a solid-looking wooden door. Trying to open it, the door refuses to budge. You listen at the door, but hear nothing. With a bit of force, I should be able to get through this door. Charge the door. That'll probably hurt me. Kick the door. You give the door a mighty kick and it swings open easily. You're about to enter when you notice the room is actually a pit. Had you charged the door, you'd be nursing a sore rump by now. Does that mean bum? 
Examining the pit, you notice that the sides are full of handholds, so it should not be difficult to climb back out. Climb into the pit? If it's that easy to get out of. You say that now. Looking around, you can see two cave entrances leading off from the pit opposite you. Moldering bones litter the floor, small piles of them stuck together in pools of foetid slime. Is that fetid? Is that supposed to be fetid slime? Who knows? You think back to your education on dwarven architecture. Judging by the way this door led straight into a pit, the dwarves must have used this area for the disposal of refuse. Glance around the pit and the cave and try the right way. Mm. Try the cave to the right. This, the, yeah, this, there's like chains in here. Let's, whatever, let's look at the chains. You enter a small cave with a slime dripping from its rock walls. A sickly sweet smell assaults your senses as you enter. It is the smell of rotting meat. The remains of rats and even a half-eaten goblin lie in one corner. In another is a large joint of meat. It looks like whatever is using this place as a larder is saving this choice haunch of giant Ardwolf for later. I can't imagine that goblin tasted very nice. Uh, take it. Although you don't fancy eating it yourself, it might prove to be of use to you somehow. Elsewhere, you pick it up and put it in your pack. You leave the cave and return to the central pit. I feel like I should get the hell out of here. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna go to the second cave. What's you see that? Look at that. What is that? What is that thing? You see that? Look at that. Yeah, I can see your little game game. Not hiding that piece very well, are you? There he is. There's the guy. I'm out of here. Go fight him? You want me to go fight this? That's like, the, that's the death trap. Fine. Fine. The first thing that hits you as you approach the cave is the stench in unpleasant menagerie of mushrooms and rotting meat. Whatever was nearby, you sense that it has not strayed far from its home. I've smelled better latrines in Port Black Sand. Survey the murky cave. The stench from the cave is familiar. It reminds you of an adventure when you were just a young woman serving in the Queen's Guard, camping in. Troll Tooth Pass? No, further south than that. What was it? Two hideous slime zombies have emerged from the goo. A slime beast, meanwhile, launches itself at you with its powerful hind legs. Fight the monsters! I told you they were gonna be looking. You didn't think I could see that? Voice sucks. That's what you're getting. Let's see if I can hit you with this piercing attack. That's really cool. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Is that gonna be enough? Yeah. Shit. And seven is gonna be a good roll. That's a good roll. And can I piercing attack? Ah, that would be great if I could have. Thought he was gonna move in that spot. I thought he was gonna move over for some reason. I don't know what the hell I was doing. Quick jab. That's awesome. Stamina. Shameful. The creature's dead. You wipe the disgusting ichor that passes for their blood from your weapon and investigate. Apart from sticky pools of acidic slime and various mounds of other altogether more unpleasant material, there's nothing of interest here. Look at that was so that wasn't even worth doing. See? I did all I did there was I gained like what, six souls and lost four stamina. Shameful display. I guess we have to go this way. Linear 
Linear, you have to go this way. There's the sleeping guy from like four hours ago. You approach with caution and can see another orc this time on his own in a leather armor to sleep his post. He's asleep. I hope all of Zako's minions are this lazy. This could be my quickest adventure yet. Carefully approach the orc. As he is asleep, it should be no trouble for you to wake him so you can get some information. Wake the orc and interrogate him. I mean, I do have education. Let's try it. You prod the orc awake with the pommel of your sword. He leaps to his feet, flailing for his weapon, which you swiftly kick out of his reach. I am Alexander of Black Sand. I see the eye in the Cyclops. The orc seems to recognize you, or at least he recognizes your sharp sword and heavy armor. He does not speak the trade tongue, but his shrugging and sniveling make it clear that you are not going to get any useful information out of him. You tie him up and gag him. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> the passageway begins to widen until you enter a cave. However, blocking the cave's exit are two of the ugliest creatures you've ever seen. These are the dogs. And hey, look at, remember the food thing. They can't reach you. They're tied to the thing. They've, they're tied to the... They have chains on. I've come across these poor creatures before in a previous quest. Orcs generally don't treat them very well, which can make them quite vicious. You're gonna have to deal with them. You're gonna have to deal with them. Yeah, you throw the hunk of meat. The orc hounds wait expectantly, remembering your... Education! ...on the beasts of Titan. You think back to the notes of the orc hounds, although vicious, they are easily distracted. As long as you have the right treat, giant ard wolf meat. Throw them the joint of meat. I'm not gonna have to fight them both. Horrible voice. That's the, I'm, I'm just messing around, man. I'll do better. I'll do better. I'll do a better voice this time. Taking the giant ard wolf joint from your backpack, you toss it towards the orc hounds. The hungry animals pounce on it immediately. They wrestle over the meat for a moment until they manage to tear it in half with their powerful jaws, taking their prizes away to opposite sides of the cave. They leave the way through clear. Not hesitating for a second, you take the opportunity to sneak past the orc hounds as they noisily eat all their gross food. Yeah. Leaving the cave as quickly as you can, you follow the new passageway. Rest ye, whirly tree. Yeah, yeah, this is the thing you sit on. Player, I would strongly advise sitting on this bench. If you do not, Alexandra of Black Sand will not be able to resurrect at this location if they perish. Uh, sit and rest. I don't need to eat. I'm gonna get five stamina for sitting here, so I'll be back to full. Continue along the passageway. All right. So this is kind of we're just kind of doing it again, right? <laughs> kind of just doing it again. So let's open this door. This is the first door, and this said there was something that I couldn't read before. The door opens to reveal a small, smelly room. In the center of the room is a rickety wooden table on which stands a lit candle with a wooden box. Judging by the remains of the dwarven architecture, this room has not changed much from its original purpose. Sleeping quarters for the night watch. Proving that your educated guess is correct, you see a green-skinned orc asleep on a straw mattress. Hmm. I wonder what's inside this box. Try to steal the box without waking. This is the snake box, right? No, that's all. This whole room is useless. This is a snake box here, or the next room. Treading softly, you easily extract the wooden box from under the table. Your luck holds out as you easily back out of the room without waking the orc. This character is so much better than the last one. This character is ten times better than the last one. You leave the room and open the box in the passage. A hidden compartment has been knocked loose, revealing a cache of gold pieces. There's also a small mouse. You release the mouse. Keep going. Try opening the door. Okay, here we go. Let's see what it, let's see what it actually says in the snake box. The door opens to reveal a small room with a stone floor and dirty walls and a stale smell in the air. In the center of the room is a makeshift wooden table on which is standing a lit candle. Under the table is a small box. In the far corner of the room, a mattress. I don't want to open the box. It's a snake. Leave the room. I couldn't even read it. I'm not going to open the box. I don't care what the box says on it. It's going to bite me. Hmm. 
know what I'm saying? Hey, Ruby, Ruby R. For 10 months in a row. What's going on, Ruby? Good to see you again. Fluff Gun. Fluff Gun subscribed for six months and then resubscribed for six months twice in a row. Thanks a lot. No, no, no. Fluff Gun and Flutters. Sorry, I'm reading that wrong. I, I am illiterate. I was playing on that other character for too long. I couldn't read. But thank you, Fluff Gun and Flutters, both for six months. And I think that's it on the subs. Thanks for the subs, guys. And leather jacket with 250. I'm back now. Sorry, I had to help my parents set up new smartphones. I'm going to rip my hair out and eat it. Technology. Trying to get, like, your parents to, like, use technology. How do I link my email? I don't know. Look it up. And then you storm out of the room. <laughs> nah, but thanks, leather jacket. Welcome back to one of our mods here. Have I seen the Mightiest of Beard says to have I seen the update to Sorcery? I, I have heard that there's a new game plus on Sorcery now. I don't know if I'll really do it. I feel like it's probably enough content to do off stream, but I feel like we'd be doing the same thing again. Alright, uh, I went this way last time. Let's go over here. This is new. <laughs> you follow the passage as it slopes downwards until you find yourself at the corner of a large chamber. The architecture suggests that this was originally made by dwarven hands, but it has clearly been repurposed by the orcs. It appears to have been turned into some kind of training hall. Oh, God. Dotted around the chamber are a number of wooden posts that bear the marks of axes and other weapons. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Is that a sound effect or is that music? I want to listen to this for a minute. All right. No! <laughs> I almost just quit the game. <laughs> okay. Uh, a cacophone echoes around the hall as green-skinned creatures in leather armor either strike the post with their swords or each other with wooden cuts. You guessed this is what passes for a training session among the brutish orcs. If I keep the shadows at the edges of the hall, I might be able to enter unseen. I can't even... It's too much. I can't even talk. At the eastern end of the chamber, there are two doors. Halfway along the north wall of the hall is another doorway secured by an iron gate. <laughs> Creep to the iron gateway. Sneak to the doors at the east end of the chamber. Burst into the room and take on all the orcs with overwhelming odds. But go back the way- That was a joke! Ah! You pause for a moment, considering your decision. The training hall is crawling with orcs, and it would either be very brave or very foolish for an adventurer such as yourself to enter it. They gave me a second chance. Take on all the orcs. <laughs> <laughs> Should I do it? I'm gonna just die instantly. <laughs> creep to the iron gate, sneak to the doors of the east into the chamber. I kinda wanna creep. Education. <laughs> Get all the souls. Charge into the training hall with a battle cry and charge headlong into the unit of battle ready orcs. You at least have the element of surprise. You prepare for a deadly battle and the odds look grim. Odds look grim. There's four of them. There's not very many of these guys. They're like, really? <laughs> Oh, 
Oh shit, I shoved him. I... Ow! Oh no. Oh no, 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 hold on. This is where it gets bad. Okay, there's one dead. God dang. <laughs> I feel like this is gonna keep happening. If I were to take a wild guess. This idiot with the bow. Maybe not. Okay, I gotta get rid of them quick. Thought he was gonna move down. Come on, move, 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 go, 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 go. Come on. Get over here, quick. If I kill them all fast enough, I think I can do this. Move over there. Aye. How far can you shoot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Screw you. Ah! What? Didn't know he could do that. Shoot. Go ahead, clash with me, I dare you. Six to ten. You're dead. Now you're dead. Now you're dead. Took on all the orcs. Fourteen souls, ten stamina. Incredibly, you've managed to take down a huge army of orcs training for battle. However, your combat has drawn the attention of more orcs from nearby. <laughs> Bursting through one of the doors are an armor followed by two goblins. They storm towards you, eager for blood. Okay. Let's do it. Piercing, pier quick, piercing strike. Yeah, dummy. You're a dummy. And then quick jab. Look at that. That's, now that, ladies and gentlemen, that's how you fucking get a guy. I'm just gonna walk forward. That's how you take somebody out. Bing bong, bing bang boom. You know what I mean? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, that's... Bad roll, give me something better. Bad roll, very bad, but I still won because this guy's a little shit. Let's go. Done. Defeated the orcs. The training hall is silent with no more orcs to surprise you. You are free to explore the nearby areas. <laughs> investigate the iron, investigate the... Yeah, that was so unnecessary. Head this way. Ah. The eastern end of the orcs training hall has two doors. You can feel some warmth coming from the door on the left, which it- Shut the fuck up. You can feel some- which is bat- You can feel some warmth coming from the door on the left, which has a battered shield hanging from it. The door on the right has a helmet hanging on it instead. Open the left door with the shield, open the right door with the helmet. All right, open the open the more the one with the warmth. This better not hit me in the face with fire. Door to shield. You find yourself inside a moderately sized chamber. All right, this is a new room. We're, we're good. New room. You 
find yourself inside a moderately sized chamber and are immediately hit by a wall of heat. On the far side of the chamber is a crude forge, its coals glowing red hot. With no one about, you quickly search the armorer's room and find the orc stash inside a small chest. You scoop up the loot and stash it in your pack. Twelve gold pieces. Clearly he was paid well for his work. Mm -hmm. Leave the armorer's room. There's another door. Uh, open the right hand door at the helmet. You find yourself in a cramped room full of battered helmets, rusting hauberks, and suits of leather armor. <laughs> the contents of the armory is inferior compared to what you are wearing, making it useless to carry around. You leave the chamber and plan your next move. Leave the armory. Uh, enter the iron gateway to the north. This is like, okay, what the hell was that? You make your way to the iron gate, open it into the small room beyond. At its center stand what looks like scarecrows made of battered armor. Their supporting poles sunk in strength. Uh, you got you got the music here. As the gate swings shut behind you, the training when shudder as they activate. Your education has taught you about such strange constructs. These quintons are constructed by the magical means and sorcerers and shit. And you brace yourself here. They hit. Here come the quintons. Here come the quintons. Now, this is too loud. Where's my mouse? I was trying to turn the volume down. Where's my mouse? Where's the mouse? Cancel. It's hard. Uh, cancel, 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 cancel. And that's on cancel, right? Oh, Jesus. Stupid music is going to be so loud right now. I'm sorry. Grind to a halt your blows. Um, yeah, yeah, there's nothing useful. Leave. Get me out of here. <laughs> Making your way back to the western side of the hall, you decide to take the northerly of the two exits available to you. Reasoning that this one will take you deeper into the mountains. Go. Get me out of this room. Fine. It's still going. It's still playing. Okay, <laughs> it's done. It's done. We don't have to hear it anymore. All right. You're out of the yeah, 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 yeah. Follow it west. Let's go this way. We went that way before. You listen at the door and hear angry shouting coming from within. Investigate. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. I already was into this. This is just wrapping around. Okay, this is... Oh, wait, that's actually good, because I want that. Yeah, this is where the guy's attacking his, um, like, little buddy there. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Attack them both. Attack them both, because I remember what happened last time. Fight them both. Remember what happened the last time we did this shit? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, that like hurt me in real life. Oh, you piece of crap. Good, go, go that way. I hate this little guy. Alright, I'm seriously, I'm like, I'm freaking the fuck out. I'm not paying attention. Pay attention. Pay attention. Please pay attention. Like, I'm not paying any attention still. But he's dead. Just, for the love of God, pay attention. I have to do this every time, otherwise he will kill me. Please. I'm too scared to try to predict a movement here. I need to clash and win every time. Yeah, this guy's a little shit. All right, yeah, 10 stamina lost. Smash the lock. 
There's some gold pieces inside. Cool. And there's wait, 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 wait. In one corner lies a small black bottle with a tight glass stopper containing a liquid of some kind. Huh? But as you are admiring this treasure, you hear a soft click and wince in pain as a small dart shoots into your stomach. What? It's just too impatient there. All right, I think I might call it for tonight. <laughs> uh, I, that was just that. I just was too. Ah! And this music shut up. I'm trying to talk to my fucking friends. Ugh. This is so far away. Uh, like, look at how this is like the very beginning of the goddamn game. <laughs> Orc song at full volume. Yeah, I, uh, I, oh, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. That's unfortunate. How long have I been going for? Like four and a half hours or so? I smashed the lock. I just was too, too impatient. Go back to the orc rave. <laughs> Thank you, Carl. Thank you, Carl Monty, for the 1500 bits. Thanks a lot, dude. Thank you, Antijo P, for the three bucks. Education, Germa Earth. <laughs> uh, Commanders, thank you for the three dollars. If you won't let us listen to the orc orgy, let us hear acid bass. <laughs> Mr. Kool Aid, thank you for the five bucks. I'm inherently sad now without the music. <laughs> uh, Lucy, thanks for the bits. Al Dog, thanks for the bits. Crab Zinger, Frank. OST. Thank you for the five bucks. Hey, Jerma, I passed all my finals even though I stayed up all night watching your streams, so I wanted to send you some bits as a thank you for keeping me entertained while studying. Cheers and greetings from Sweden. Well, thanks a lot, Frank. Or Fransk. Thank you, Fransk. Yeah, I'm, d I'm just going to call it there. I, uh, I actually, uh, this game started out without like intriguing me very much. The first, like, 25 minutes of this game was kind of boring. But now that there's, they've added, like, that tower with some of the choices and some of the items you need to carry, it's, uh... It has my attention a little bit more, and I, I, I'll probably play this again. Thank you, Grump Clump, for the bits. Renegade Coast for the bits as well. Also, thanks to Dr. Cheese for 10 months. We could have used you, Dr. Cheese, a long time ago in, in the stream. We needed cheese. We could have used it. Uh, I B N Sharmuta. I you. I don't. I hope I'm saying that right. Definitely not. But thanks for the sub. Uh, C King Sanity. Thank you also for the sub as well. And tomorrow, tomorrow, guys, there is uh, the Christmas stream. I don't want to spoil what it is, but there's one of two things that are going to happen. It's either going to be the worst stream ever, or no, 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 it's because what I, to I told you before, it's, we're going to play some classics. It's going to be a night to remember we're playing some classic Christmas video games. It's the Christmas special. Tomorrow's the Christmas special. See you there. Tomorrow, 
Friday. Uh, we started early today. We started at like 6.30 today. We'll probably start, I don't know, maybe I'll start a little early tomorrow too because it is like Christmas time. But yes, somewhere around 7 p.m. tomorrow, special Christmas stream. Hope you guys are there. If not, if you can't make it, then uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. And we're going we're gonna to get out. We're going to get out of here. So thank you for watching. Much love, guys. I hope to see you guys tomorrow. And I'll see you guys later. Take care, guys. Thanks for sticking around. Favorite cereal, uh, Magpie's Captain Crunch. Have a good night, guys.